Hey, everybody. Um, Leo and Danny Show, thank you for being here. Please like the video to help uh, spread this video to more of our audience on the main channel. And check out our Patreon, where we do an another... We uh, uh, This isn't going to be a good episode, is it, Leo? No. Where we do an entirely new episode each week. And oftentimes, I feel they're better than the main free episodes. We're more relaxed. We talk about more, uh, you know, strange and exciting things that we might not be able to bring to the regular pod so right between the lines gay sex and Absolutely. also we had stand up on the spot last week the week mm -hmm. before that cigar guy punked us into thinking he was relapsing oh god spelling b also good stuff check it out leo yes the question has often been posed yes who is the greater figure Leandro Dottavio or Danny Mullen nobody fucking poses that often but i bet maybe often. you pose it who is the greater figure in the Danny Mullen universe? <laughs> okay. They say it like that. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, me thinks it is Leandro Dottavio. Oh, so. really? Admittedly a minority compared to those oh, who say, yeah, me yeah. thinks it is yeah, yeah. Daniel James Bryan Mullen the third. Mm. My dad's name just changed to Danny and my grandpa's <laughs> too. Check this out. This, I think, is going to settle the debate once and for all. I mean, look, that is a good piece of artwork. I mean, I'm not going to lie, man. I mean, look, uh, you, you probably have more loyal fans. If you were to want to, you know, do, like, for example, that comet that came by and they all committed suicide yeah. after, what was that called? I've if, never heard of that. What is he talking about? There, there was a comet. <laughs> a comet there was, there was a cult. Was, was the was comet named Jim Jones? No, there was a cult that was like, when the comet comes, we're all going to smoke ourselves. And they were all wearing Nikes. They might have been wearing Nikes. Oh, Nike you're thinking Cortezes. about the... Um, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that Owen Wilson or you? That, that's fucked up. It doesn't look like Owen Wilson. That's a good uh, That's a good nose. That's, that's a good really Danny Mullen cool. nose. The so guy I mean, really focused on his the nose. Let's be the side angle I'm looking at it from. Danny Mullen's nose is broken. Are you trying to? Are you insulting him? No, he doesn't look like Danny Mullen. Cigar guy, take off your bald fucking cap right there. <laughs> Open up to the world. Quit insulting me. When I'm, I'm not trying, insulting you. You're insulting me. I'm insulting. I did, I wasn't insulting anything. Okay, I'm saying I just didn't know. Bro, okay. I was saying was that you are more. You you could easily run a cult. Yes. Well, it would be a lot of work for me. Listen, people, they make art depicting me mm -hmm. and they go through hell and high water to get it sent to my door to be signed and you can see i signed it here i will face fuck a kitten signature danny mullen wow they went through nico ian and federal express to get this here really one kid we're gonna pop this up on screen wrote a fucking essay about me they could have just gone through me i'm this more is, effective than this, all those guys. this is recently well you're busy generally dming preteens so there's <laughs> pre a, a lot of clog a lot of clogging <laughs> in your inbox where is this essay? This recently came to my attention that I am the subject of academic study. So a kid wrote an essay about you. Chris Priest wrote a, an essay about me. And then uh, Chris Priest, 1801412. That must be the upper di division course he wrote this for. You think it's an upper division course I think in college? So. But uh, Leo, when I think of artists mm -hmm. who have become the subject of academic studies, I think of people like Orson Welles. I think of people like Ernest Hemingway. And I, I think now I've entered that stratosphere as Danny really? Mullen. Really? Yeah. Let's, listen to this. I'm surprised you know who Orson Welles is. Listen, Danny Mullen is a comedian who uses YouTube as his primary platform for creating content. That's great. Ooh. That's genius. That, that was the was, opening line he, of the essay? He, he, it's a catchy hook, huh? Oh. He was born in Orangeville, California nice. and attended the University of California, Los Angeles as a history major graduating in 2013. Okay. After being rejected for... From USC and UCLA screenwriting school, Danny struggled as a com. I don't like that part. Ah, I don't ah, like how he. No. I don't like how he gets into my weaknesses. Yeah, it's about the sort the, of the like Egyptians. cigar guy got. I it. didn't know you got rejected, but now I do. Hey, you know what? This I'm pretty sure is just copy and pasted from like famousbirthdays.com. Yeah. Sounds like it. Seems it. like a Wikipedia no. article or something. It, it what, does. what has he got to say about you? This is right. bullshit. You know what? This is fuck. This is not a good essay. No. Actually, it's, it's like, wait, is there even a question? What's what's he trying to say in the intro? Is it just a biographical? Thing? Let's like read what? a let's read a random sentence. When comparing Danny's paritical, per, uh, paritical, like parody, paritical, yeah, paradical, paradical text to others in the genre of YouTube comedy, both similarities and contrasts are present. Wow, and then he brings up uh, Britannica. 
I don't know. This fucking stinks. I hate this essay, but uh, the po- people are trying, Leo. You know what? Nobody wrote, nobody wrote an essay nobody about Leander to Nobody wrote an essay about me, no, dude. It yeah, was, they like, did. It was dailymail.com. <laughs> they, they, they wrote like, a couple essays about me. Like a teacher? Is that the deal? Is, 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 like, they turned that into like a teacher yes. to get graded? Yes. Do yes. we know what grade it got? Well, we got to find out. We could only assume a high grade just because my name appears frequently in the make text. A, I think it's like a C plus. I would say a C. If that kid got more than a C, it was not deserved. Um, where is he from? That counts. Like, yeah, where is he from? It's true. If he's on the West Coast or East Coast, he probably got a worse grade versus if he lives... Like Kentucky. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If he's from Louisville, all he had to do was type his name on the top of the paper. All right. Like, yeah. Maybe he's from Nigeria. Um, oh, then he definitely got an A. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He definitely got an A. And an A for AIDS is what you're going for. Oh! Oh, oh. oh no. Well, well, you have someone here who is HIV positive. Yeah, so, so we you, have, by the way, you know, Aiden so I, Park. So I got the woke police. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's right, so, baby. So Aiden, we were talking earlier. Aiden, um, describe the categories you belong to. So yes. you are a gay man. <laughs> okay, so I'm a, <laughs> I'm a gay, hey, yeah. how, how you doing? How are you? So I'm a gay man, yeah. yes. right? And I was brought here undocumented okay. at yes. age nine. Mm-hmm. I was dropped off at grandma's government housing in San Francisco. And grandma's I grew up there. government housing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I ate like the blocks of government cheese, man. Okay. Grandma's government housing sounds like it's about to be a cookie brand. It was. And then yeah. it turns into something darker. Mm-hmm. And okay. so then after I graduated high school, I was still undocumented. I couldn't get a job, couldn't go to college. So I was a hooker for a while until I got HIV. Uh-huh. Oh. And then I'm a young widow. So okay. those are a lot of cat- people don't assume that because they look so happy. Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah. So yeah, we actually brought Aiden in to fuck Dino up the ass without a condom. With zero today. condom. <laughs> uh, just to teach him a lesson. If you're really woke, as woke as you say, Dino, you would be down. And we were telling you know, Aiden before the show started that Dino. Because Aiden was saying that a lot of times he gets into trouble because he doesn't mind his P's and Q's when it comes to political correctness. And people come at him saying, hey, you can't say that. You can't do this. Right. To which he responds, go like, fuck yourself. Yeah, what are you going to say? Yeah. yeah. Really? Like, right. okay, you went to like UCLA yes. for like political science and you're going to tell me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Like, it's, what? It's, go fuck yourself. It's when, yeah. when, you're, right. when you're in the bathroom of a tugboat blowing a bearded fisherman. <laughs> um, it doesn't get much more woke than that. No. And that's where no. Aiden has been. Okay, well, is... I, I do want to make this point, though. Yes. Danny. Yeah. Why, why the, so many the, the, what, What's his name gets... again? That's Dino. Dino. I'm sorry. Danny Dino. Lots Dino. Of Dino. Don't yeah. do it again. Dino. Dino. <laughs> Um, so I could fuck you yeah, up yeah, the yeah. ass, raw dog, could, and yeah. you wouldn't get it because <laughs> you you wouldn't get HIV. D- Dino looks because, so upset because he now, looks really upset nowadays. It's it's like basically like having yeah. like nothing, right? I mean, it, it, it's it's barely in your bloodstream like, at this if point. If you right? if you um are uh taking a medication and right. you're undetectable, it is actually untransmittable. So right. I could fuck yeah. each and every one of you. Yeah. I'm yes. coming you, yeah. and none of you would get nice. it. Not yeah. that you would want it. I would. I you would, would you would probably more likely get it from one of these guys because they could have it and not know. That's I would so I would true. get a that serious case possible. of the jollies. I would yeah, fucking love and, my and they're life. actually rapists. <laughs> the most likely to have AIDS, uh, Aiden. Oh, damn, the most likely know. to have AIDS is definitely cigar guy. He so, does yeah, eat. The, he eats random ass, and he did get uh, general warts in his throat no, from from ass fuck, eating. Why you, you change it every time? It was fucking. <laughs> it was cl- gonorrhea. It was gonorrhea you in his get throat it from eating ass. You you have to I, wait. Can't you can get gonorrhea. Well, you can't get AIDS from eating, but you can no. get gonorrhea from eating ass. I did. I'm okay. so sorry. Okay. It was fine. Okay, let's guys, let's slow this down a little bit. Mm. Let's, I want to say this because I, as I was saying, Aiden gets chewed out sometimes for saying politically incorrect stuff. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to forewarn him that the guy who is going to be the most on that in this podcast room is Dino. Yeah. Dino is the guy who can't take mansplaining. Mm-hmm. He's one of those people who said, like, um, if, I don't care if you don't like Hillary as a candidate. Right. You are morally obligated to vote for her to keep the orange man out of office. Right. He's one of those hardline leftist kind of I, guys. I, it slipped one time, and I said tranny, and oh my, he didn't talk to me for three weeks. Yeah. So, I don't know, Aiden, maybe you could talk to him about what makes him so woke right. and where that anger and passion is coming from. I don't... He doesn't. I can't. I don't know whether to take this seriously or not uh-huh. because he hasn't said anything. Tell me right he now. He doesn't say much. When it's you because look at he's him. offended. Yes, and he's also high out of his mind, Aiden. Yeah. You said something he's negative offended. about Biden when you walked in, and he hasn't forgiven you yet. Oh, yeah. what? What? I didn't say anything. You were critical of his Afghanistan policy. Okay. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> Dino doesn't like that. Yeah, dude. I love blowing up little Afghan kids. Are you being sarcastic? Well. 
Is Biden's plan? He knows he's, what he's, he's imitating Aiden. Yeah. That's so he's doing. super right wing, and we're no, making fun no, of him. No, no, is no, that no, the no, deal? No, no, because yeah, yeah, it is. The yeah, deal. yeah, it, it is. is oh, so you're is. super, you're super right wing. Yes, he is. I'm so, not like I, they think you I'm got super him. right wing. T- too right wing to get fucked up the ass. <laughs> no. Yeah. no, is there such a thing? There's, there's no such thing. You know, there's more homophobic guys yeah. on the right wing side that really do want that dick up the ass. He doesn't give a shit, do you? You don't. I mean, I mean, obviously, if I raped you, then yes. you would. Mm-hmm. But I, mean, I don't care if anyone's gay. Like that's not me. But I'm I don't not think gay. anybody cares anymore. <laughs> I did the. I did Nobody HIV cares. jokes in Montana last week. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, like I have this horrible joke. I'm like, I've had HIV now for 17 years. Uh-huh. My HIV is almost old enough to buy cigarettes and watch porn. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and so I say that, and like I they like were it. totally okay with it. So wow. I feel like we've come a long way. I most people don't care unless you like aggravate. Unless you, I feel like if I was like. If I came at anybody like, mm. you need to accept me because I'm gay, then, mm. you know, then it's a little, aggra- it's like scary. Do that again, dude. He, he, he you need fuck- to accept me because I'm gay, yeah. Casper. He's actually, you're pretty sure of the Casper. choir then. He's actually, he's You raising- and your pearl necklace, I'll give you a pearl necklace. All right, all right I'll give you a pearl all necklace. Right, all right, let's give Casper the money. Austin has offered us, he said enough time has passed. It's like uh, the government declassifying a certain event. Yes. We are allowed to speak about the cigar guy threesome on the beach. <laughs> Oh damn! All right, so, so guys, so, you were your guesses were right. A lot of you did guess. I think that Cigar Guy and Austin had a threesome. You're correct; they yeah. did have a threesome. Now, are we going to get a description of the girl? At okay, least? well, I, I, it's not a threesome. We had a double team. All right, that's different. How's I that don't different? know. How's I don't know different? if I trust your account of the situation. Cox yeah, might have gone and asked. Can I can I ask you? Does that mean there was the girl in the middle and you guys didn't touch? Yes. I'm just. We didn't even didn't really touch. look at each other much. Yeah, uh, uh, not- cigar guy was doing some looking because all cigar guy could talk about for a couple of days after were, damn dude, Austin's dick is huge. Yeah, dude, he that was. thing is huge, dude. Uh huh. He was it talking made me about feel Austin's like penis. Fucking garbage, dude. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because I'd bang the girl and she'd be like into it, but then Austin would bang the girl and she'd be howling. Oh yeah. The moon, well, there dude. are some. Oh. Peop- there are some people on Twitter who might dispute what you're saying. Wow. Mm. Well, I don't think. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit, Cigar Guy. It wasn't oh, that man. big of a... So, I, it's been a while since this happened. I forget what we talked about or didn't happen. We're going to talk about a lot of sex this episode because yeah. we filmed a pornography last night. Me and Cigar Guy are a little underslept just by virtue of getting this thing done. But let's stay on the threesome. Let's stay on the threesome subject right now. Cigar Guy? Yeah, man. How did you find this fan? Because it was a fan that did this with you and Austin. How did you find her? How did you set up the threesome? Um... Yeah, we gotta tread some water here, but yeah, she just DM'd or yeah, she DM'd me and then I DM'd her. She probably DM'd me and Leo, but we oh, were too busy sure. to respond. Probably. Okay. Yeah. And then we just started talking and then we uh and then we had intercourse. And, you had sex with her first. Yes. And then And at, this girl the beach, this girl was recently uh, divorced or had a boyfriend or was pregnant. <laughs> no, she. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? Well, no, she I was, was trying two to of those things. No, she was recently out of a breakup, and she has multiple children. Multiple children out of wedlock. Age. How old is she? I can't remember. Hmm. Thirty. Okay. Maybe thirty. A okay. lot of kids. Probably um, not enough financial resources to care for all of them. Is she from L? Is she from L. A. Like, or is she? Did yes. she like fly in for this? Yeah, she's here. Okay, uh, she's here. Okay. She had sex with you where? In a hotel. Okay, so she had gotten a hotel, or you? Me. Okay, <laughs> you got a hotel. You had sex with. Back her. in the good old days when Cigar Guy was making eight grand a month, right. yes. he had all the coin on the planet. Mm. Yes. We would get hotels daily. Almost. How he misses those I days. I got a good hotel. It was the same day that uh, I had doxxed the hotel, so I had to switch. On my live stream. Yeah. Yeah, Cigar Guy mentioned the actual hotel he planned to fuck this girl at. Mm. But we don't want to hear about you guys fucking one-on-one between four walls. Yes, yeah, so, so we got in the hotel, we fucked, and then we fucked at my house again. And then we were out and about. It was started as a fishing trip. We went to Santa Monica to fish. And it was late at night. You took, okay, you took, I, this is where I want to step in. This was a fucking... I, I, this was some sort of scheme cocked it up in fucking Cigar Guy's head. You lured me out there, no, bro. Because ah, remember, no, because remember... Lured him out no, for no, a no, fishing no, no, trip. No, 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 no. Because here, remember would... what happened. We went to try to go fishing, but the pier had closed because this is when they were closing okay, the pier. So wait, what? I'm at my house, like about to go to sleep. Hold on, bro. It's like 11 o'clock at night. This is before I even I'm came I'm going to be able to there. refute everything, so you might as well let me talk. 
Cigar so, guy calls me. Yep. And he goes, "I'm gonna be by myself. Come fishing. That's exactly I'm gonna be it. At the pier all alone. That's exactly blah, blah, it." Blah. And then I get there, and he's like, "Yeah, dude, I got some pussy on the way too." I never said that. <laughs> okay, but here's the deal. So I'm dry. I'm anxious. I'm trying to distract myself. So I said, "Okay, I'm gonna go fishing." Wait, wait, let me ask you this because I have never Sick seen a fishing. Man. I do. I just you fishing. I've never seen a rod at your house. I've never heard you once mention that. Like, hey, Danny, I'm like, the bass are gonna be killer this afternoon if you want to. Dude, go I out. fish like once a month, bro. You, I got two rods. You want to come with? You look like a gay fisherman from Bodega Bay. I know. But I didn't know you were actually capable as an angler. I know. Remember one time I used to go with Croc all the time when he was around? I didn't know that. Didn't know any of this. Anyway, okay. so I decided I'm going to go fishing because I'm feeling like shit. I call Austin because no one's getting back to me. Hey, let's go fishing. I'm pretty sure I asked you to come with me too. And then um, I'm coming there. Austin, you? And then Austin agrees to come. And then halfway there, a girl, the girl, says, all right, I'll meet up with you too. So then Austin gets there, the pier's closed, we're waiting around, the girl gets there, and then we decide, oh, we're gonna go walk around Santa Monica. So back then, I'm doing a lot of live streams on my Instagram. So I start live streaming, and Swolby's in there. Yeah. And Swolby's like, you guys going to double team that bitch? Nice. Or something that Swolby nice. would say. That's, um, that's some of the, the upstanding gentlemen we associate with. Yeah. yeah. You guys going to double team that bitch, post on the internet for everybody to see? Imagine yeah. if, like, an NFL player, like, if a right tackle during, like, the wide receiver's live stream was like, you guys going to double team that hoe? I know. That that's would get a, picked up by ESPN. Oh, yeah. That would be devastating. Unreal. Was she excited to be part of the action? Though, was she like, oh, I'm going to be featured as the girl that gets double teamed? I well, think dude, so. I think then, part of her, yeah. No, nah, she didn't care about the being featured. She just wanted to get double teamed. Yeah, so once I read that out loud, and then she was like, hey, I'm down. Oh. And then, I don't think so. I think she wanted to be featured. I think so, I think too. so too. Nah, she like. She actually doesn't she, want us to talk about it. She doesn't this. even want us talking about it, really. <laughs> she like, wanted to be featured. I feel like women, like, can get double teamed any time. Uh, oh, so anytime. it's not like this special thing. You know, uh, what? Woman, woman could be walking well, down was, the street. It was more uh, she just didn't want her like ex-boyfriend because they had just broken up to find out and get all mad or she, whatever. I th I'm with Aiden. I think she wanted this because she reached out to a group of influencers who she liked. It's like when the fucking cheerleader fucks the captain of the basketball team. Like, uh oh, Johnny, don't tell anybody. But you know that bitch wants it to leak all over school. Yeah, this I girl, the same thing. Except for the captain of the basketball team, it was like the two water boys. I know. I was just thinking <laughs> That. Oh no! <laughs> the guy, the, the guy who boys. tapes up the ankles, and the guy who refreshes the Gatorade cooler. Oh man, she's very, she's a very, she is a friend of mine. She's very nice. Ah, uh -huh. all right. So, how was the double team? Who got hard? So faster? we decided we're, we decided we're in a double team. But first, we wanted to go to her apartment down in Marina del Rey and go get in the hot tub. So we went and got in the hot tub, and it was a. Uh, um, Anything special? I mean, we had to be quiet. It sucked. We kept being yelled Did at. Did you guys start Anderson. fooling around in the hot tub? I just want to say, from my perspective, I'm at home. It's like I'm about to go to bed. It's fucking late. It's like midnight. He's trying Cigar to guy his way out is, of this. No, I'm not Austin yeah, my is. way. I just yeah, want to. Yeah. I just want to call to attention some of the stuff the cigar guy's leaving out. Austin, right. you did so something. He almost no, gay, and we're okay with no, that. No, I'm not even talking about the threesome I'm part. Uh -huh. Like. He he calls me at like midnight, going. I'm at the. I'm gonna. It I'm was going at ten o'clock. By myself, please come. So then I show up, and he's like, "Yeah, I have this girl coming too." So, it, kind of as a joke in my head, I'm thinking that he planned this whole thing to lure me out there to bang this chick. He paid but the girl. But before we even left the pier, she was a prostitute. Cigar guy has these fishing rods that are like Walmart throwaway I terrible know fishing it. rods. No, they're and not. The I waves. Know it. He, they're he, not. He's trying to fish into the surf. <laughs> no, that's how you do it. That, that's waves. how Armin taught me that. You when you catch that's how you catch sharks. The, the baby sharks, dude. It's right where the waves are. They weren't are breaking. fishing for baby sharks. No, the reason I he did that no was way. because you had you told me to do that. You couldn't even cast the yeah. line. Yeah, it yeah. was like this guy didn't know how to go fishing. So he didn't you, he, he never went to fish. Toys R Us and got two my first this fishing poles. This is pissing me off. It uh, is my rod is a $200 rod. It's very nice. I've been using it for years. Not as nice as Austin's though, apparently. His rod was a cheap Walmart rod. Are you guys I talking about it. your dicks yeah, or yeah. the fishing rods? What's no, going on? No, it's right just now? like we walk up and I'm like, His there's rod no way shit. this is going to We fail at fishing for maybe two minutes and yeah. then it's. All right, let's go double team this okay. chick. I just want to say, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring our guest into this too. It's like a lot of shady characters enter our orbit. They have various motivations. Some want fame. 
Some are just, they have that cult follower-like mentality. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people come and go. They appear in one or two videos, lose their minds, and disappear. I'm just amazed that, or I'm rather grateful that Cigar Guy wasn't inviting Austin out to the pier at midnight to help him dispose of a body. Yeah. Or, yeah. or, or some kind of drug deal. I had to leave my house. It was 10 o'clock when I got to Santa Monica Pier because, remember, the pier closed at 10 o'clock, and they were closing right when we got there. Yeah, but and Austin, I live an uh, hour and a half away. You were like, but that makes guilt it tripping me into showing. You up. live thirty minutes away from Santa Monica. Yeah, that's an exaggeration. An hour and a half. He's exaggerating yeah. all this shit. Yeah, but Austin. Okay, I guess Santa Monica. Can I ask you a question? Santa Monica is closer. Yes. Than but like, you went. Yeah. You did. Okay, and then did you know that the girl was gonna be there? When on your way? No, he just went to see Cigar Guy. I went I to keep know. Cigar Guy. Coming. That's even gayer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know either. I didn't know the girl was gonna be there either. But it's fine. We got there. The pier was fucking closed. So me and you, while we're waiting for this chick to decide, oh, let's just go try to fish in the surf because earlier that day, I think you had told, or no, it was the Tuesday prior because it was like. You had told me mm -hmm. to fish in the surf. Yep. You were yeah. there too. If, if, oh, you know what? I'm calling bullshit. This is what happened. You and that girl were like. All right, we need a double team with Austin. You're Austin your way. He's into not this. gonna be down. Okay, so I'm gonna lure him out with some fishing poles. Oh I'll yeah, this. because <laughs> why anybody was there? I'm over that. I want to get down to the fucking. But I just want to say, cigar guy, if you ever invite me out in the middle of the night to Santa Monica Pier to fish with Walmart rods into the surf, <laughs> I will just beat the living dog shit out of you. <laughs> First of all, it was one Walmart rod that I would never use. I have a nice. Um, it's called a. Ikusu or something. Okay, it sounds like you're an uh, very uh, in touch with your fishing equipment. Uh, continue. Tell me about how this started. So we w went back to her place. We got in the hot tub. And then we decided, oh, we cannot have any sort of sexual relations in this hot tub. Because it's in the middle of an apartment complex. And we're being told to be quiet from an apartment complex two blocks down the street. Had you started fooling around a little bit, though? No. You hadn't even grabbed a boob yet? No. I heard they were big. Giant. Giant. Okay. Giant tits. And then uh, we get in my car and we drive to the beach, which is right nearby of Marina Del Rey. Yeah. We walk out into this ocean. We immediately start going for the lifeguard stand because we think, oh, that'd be a good place. <laughs> but I say, there's probably a homeless person in there. Yeah. And then we get there and there's a homeless person in there. <laughs> nice. So then we walk probably just 20 yards away. Yeah. Like that's going to keep we, him from fucking. We were literally 20 yards away from this homeless guy sleeping <sighs> on this thing. I was like, you know, we could walk like a little further and then. No, this is good. Or, yeah. If you guys wanted to load up another body on that ass, you could have woken Fred or whatever his name is yeah. up. All right. Ah. All right. So <laughs> I, it's, I got, it's all about the story. Aiden knows. Yeah. Nope. And I we, envision did, nobody took their clothes completely off, right? It was just you guys. No, just we were lower. butt naked. You guys got completely naked. Yeah. Shirts off, too? No, no. No shirts off, dude, right? No. Were there shirts off? Yeah. So it was just you lowered your pants yeah. and you guys had your dicks out. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay. This is what I envisioned. And what happened? We laid the blanket down, and then I can't even remember what had happened. Oh, I do remember what had happened, but I don't know how far I can get into it. You can get all the way into it, bozo. What? So well, this, I had, he had, had sex, already been fucking the girl. So I had had sex with her prior, yeah. so I was like, all right, you can just, just suck Austin's dick. And then she starts sucking Austin's <laughs> dick, and then, uh, and then Austin blew a load. And then what? And Austin blew a load, but it's fine because immediately after that, I started boning her or something. And then Austin went in for round two. Wow. So Austin with semen dripping out of your urethra, you decide to put it in this girl's vagina unprotected. A no, woman who, by the way, on. has already had a couple kids. We put condoms on. You guys both put condoms on. Smart. smart. Um, I got it. I got a load with the condom on. No, no, no. In, the in mouth, the mouth, no, but no. in her, in her mouth. And then you stuck your dick in his. In, his in, asshole, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you stuck your dick in the girl's mouth that had already yeah. swallowed his semen, correct? I'm just getting the story clear. Yeah, it's yes, important. And that is gay. That, yes. that's, that's gay. <laughs> I'm realizing that now is gay. We just got to call ah. it. Yeah, baby. All right. I gotta, I'm, I'm going to make you do this cigar guy, and it's, it's going to be really awkward, but I want you to do an exact replication of Austin's moan when he was coming. Oh, no. Don't. Yes. I don't moan. He didn't I moan. He just said, Oh, I'm about to come, and then he took, and then he <laughs> took it out, bag, and then, he, and then he came in the <laughs> sand, and then we went in for round two. It's you sound like a John in an alleyway in New York City. Oh, I'm about to come. Well, oh, no, he was thanks. enjoying. Here's it. your money. He was letting her know. Yeah, cigar guy, were you jerking off while uh, Austin was getting blown? 
Uh, no, actually. Okay. I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like some sort of sovereign. I feel like Louis the Fourteenth, a king that deserves some sort of taxation. I mm. should get some, some some sort of cut when you guys are fucking groupie chicks. <laughs> I need to make sure I tell my dad not to watch this episode. Should I? I, I don't know. I, this I got to work on this taxation system. Whenever any of you guys direct message a girl mm. and then you end up hooking up with her, I really do. I am entitled to some sort of vagina or breast picture. Okay, and well... You know, um, so can we get a can we get a, a you know a breast picture now? I don't have them. <laughs> I get a piss real quick. Earlier, um, you mentioned the Heaven's Gate cult. That's what you were talking about. It was the Heaven's Gate. And cult, I remembered yes. that in a time of uh, despair of mine, I had emailed them. Oh no! no. Oh no! Yeah, and no. And but I just wanted to like see what I was kind of joking, but I was also you know, I said, "Is it possible to be saved?" Is it still possible to be taught? Is it too late? <laughs> Please let me know if I can be of help or you can help me. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then they said, it's too late for this era. You can study the website, the book, and the videotapes. And then they sent me a Vim 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 Vimeo link. Mm -hmm. Another time will occur in about a thousand years. Yeah, because it had it, to do with the comet. Right? Yeah, and yeah. I said, so what can I do? This is terrifying. And then they said, study the information and wait for your reincarnation. All humans on this planet on this planet reincarnate. The time will pass quickly. Okay. When was Heaven's Gate? Can somebody fill me in on this? That was in the late nineties. Late nineties. It was a bunch of dudes. Why, why did you email them in the late? Uh, when did you email them? Um. Well, I I was reading about them and I was very interested. When in was them. this? What year? That when I emailed them? Yeah. Twenty eighteen. Okay. So this this wasn't their heyday. Continue. So you already knew that they had committed suicide after the, the yeah. comment. Okay. So basically, it was a bunch of people that followed a leader, and he was bald. This guy told them that after this comet came, I believe aliens were going to come down, right, and pick well, them up. Well, they were going to they were going to kill themselves and be and then be, and be sh and then basically um, project onto the comet that right. would take them to an alien. Yeah, yes. there's no yes. proof that it didn't work because <laughs> their spirits go to the comet. That's so true. there are still people today. Who, who believe. believe that they just missed out, and now they have to wait a thousand years and be reincarnated like uh, our friend in Vegas. I'm sorry, I forgot her name. Sandrine. 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 How dare you? And then um, were they, like every other cult, very interested in fucking underage girls? I mm, Maybe it was a bit, a bit of that, yeah. There's a, well, it seems to be a lot of that in every cult. Well, now, that's interesting. So they, they said you, you have a thousand, you have to wait a thousand years yeah, in order to... Yeah, they said I'm fucked. That's crazy. But they said I'm going to reincarnate so that... I will have a chance a thousand years of reincarnating. Okay. I just need to be consistent. Were you actually looking, were you actually looking for like ants? Were you going no. to? No. Oh, you were just fucking with him. I was he, just fucking I, with him. I'm not sure about that, Aiden. I'm not sure. No, I was just fucking with him. I was just surprised because I, I went know. to their website. It's the same website that was they had in the 90s. It's not updated at all. It's all retro looking. Yeah, yeah. And I email, and I saw their email. I was like, what happens if I email them? They, mm -hmm. they killed themselves in a kind of a fucked up way too. What they do? They put bags over their heads and then they. No, they just took. Um, cyanide? Um, yeah, they took some sort of drug and then they each like put laid them down and put a bag on their head and they're wearing the sick Nikes. A yeah, pair of those exact Nikes that they were you wearing. Have them? No, they're like three thousand dollars. That what? model of Nike. Nothing yeah. drives up prices like mass suicide. My it's God. true. Yeah. My God. You know, yeah. The, the Adidas this guy was wearing when he jumped out of the World Trade Center, they're like four <laughs> grand now. No. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's true, really, dude. You know what's funny since Aiden Aiden is uh HIV positive. I know this is a random segue, but we do have uh, that girl we were gonna, you know, herpes girl. Maybe yeah. we could we could call her up at some point today and, sure. and have Aiden give her a little pep talk. Yeah, Aiden, we have a girl who's very down. She has herpes. She's already come on the show and announced it with her face on right. camera. Do people? Does anybody here have herpes? No. no. Okay. Well, he has herpes. Or mouth herpes. Or, mouth herpes. Yeah. Yeah. But not general herpes. Yeah. yeah. Well, big big mean, difference, Aiden. Right? There's people who have herpes. I have herpes. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which which type? I have the lip. Yeah, me okay, too. Well, that's you know, me too. When I get really stressed out, actually, I like I'm recovering because I I got really stressed out a couple weeks ago. Sure, mm -hmm. I got really sick. But um, yeah, like. But you know, you don't have to tell your partner that you have herpes. You know, if you want to have if you want to have sex with Dino, you wouldn't have to let him know that you have herpes. General herpes. Technically, you wouldn't have to no. let him know. Here's the deal. Actually, with HIV, right? Like, so mm. if I were to have... I'm sorry, Dino. <laughs> no, no, no. Continue, be really continue. explicit. Be really explicit if I were about to, what If you I were do. to raw dog you, Dino. Right, yeah. <laughs> no. And? He's, like, not happy about this at all. And? But, like, 
I guess, like, legally, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have to tell him because I couldn't be transferable, right? If you didn't finish, yeah. you mean. But it, if you it, did finish, you'd have to No, tell. even it's if different. I did finish, it's untransferable they, they as an HIV uh, They have to hire a private detective person. to figure out if he came or not. But for <laughs> me, I like the other person to know just as a pr- protocol. I would hope so, yeah. So, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. but it is but it is like if I did fuck anybody, mm. it is untransmittable because I am undetectable. Nice. Yeah, and so I'm Congratulations, just, you know, by the way. That's That's great. I'm sure I've been undetectable for like 15 years. When you first got it, you thought it was a death sentence then. I thought I was going to die alone. When did you first get it? Uh, 2004. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I was 19 years old. It was okay. So That's Jesus. rough. Yeah. That's rough. That wasn't, I guess, the darkest time for HIV. That wasn't like when Freddie Mercury died. Was that the no. low point? <laughs> but uh, it was bad. It was it bad was back bad. then. And what was worse was like, dude, I was like, Homeless. Uh-huh. I was like, and my I wasn't out to my family. So like, I, you know, when you get ah! HIV and you're not out to your family, and ah! what do you do? Oh, yeah. How are you? Okay, so <laughs> if you you were having sex dad, for money after a football game, dad, this fucking cheerleader came. I fucked her, and I just I got HIV. <laughs> oh. is, is that what you you told your dad some straight stories? Like I didn't tell my mom. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't know my dad. Mm-hmm. This will have daddy issues, right? Of course. But um, I don't. My I didn't tell my mom until like. The book came out because when I told her I was gay, she threatened to kill herself. Oh, so I was oh, like, wow. "How am I gonna tell her that I have HIV?" Yeah, yeah. Because what's she gonna do? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want her to find out through the book, so yeah. I had to like tell her. Mm-hmm. But she came a long way because I was like ten years in between, and yeah. she actually said, "You know what? You're my son. I love you no matter what. I just oh. want you to be healthy, happy." Yeah. So I thought that was That's a really amazing. sweet. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. she came to the terms with that and said that, though. That is important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. It's funny because Dino also mm-hmm. said that if his child was gay, he would kill himself. <laughs> I've heard him say that. You know, Dino swings wildly it's... from super liberal to super. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the, it's nuts. The truth is somewhere on the right. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah. Aiden, Wait, no, I want to hear about, do you know which sexual encounter it was that gave you HIV? No, because, okay, this, here's what happened. Let's hear about the dark, dark days of your yeah. prostitution stuff. Right. Oh, yeah. So h- here's what was happening. Like, mm. When I got out of high school, I was still undocumented. I found out I couldn't go to college by, like, saying, I would like to choose this college. And they were like, you can't choose the co- because I was undocumented. Mm-hmm. And so, and I didn't know what to do. And I couldn't get a job. And at that end, I was also in the closet with my family. There was a lot of trauma around that. And so what happened was I was literally, honestly, fucking everybody yeah. for free. Yeah. I nice. didn't care. I didn't have a Top or bottom? Oh, I was bottoming. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, because oh, yeah. I was like a oh, yeah. teenager twink. Who are you fucking? Because I've heard stories. A friend of mine who came, he didn't come out of the closet until I think like college, but I knew he was gay from when we were like 16 or something. Mm-hmm. He would fuck older neighborhood men that he would meet online yeah. who were married and had families. I assume part of what you were doing was guys you meet in gay bars, gay websites, but some of it was like businessmen in trench coats who would Absolutely. fuck you and just beat your ass behind a dumpster. San Francisco. Mm. I, I I grew up in San Francisco. And so, uh, you know, this was back in the days of gay.com, which is a grinder for back then. Yeah. And I would hook up with three or four different guys every single week. Oh, well, I, I thought you were about to say day. I thought you were about to say day. I, was, I mean, Legend. it was insane. Yeah. I, I fucked every top in San Francisco with an Asian fetish or during that time. Oh <laughs> and then were, were you, so you were on gay.com and I've seen the billboard, by the way, there used to be one right over the freeway as you entered the city that said, are you? And it was just this Twinkie guy going, hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw that billboard. And then, so you He's were, funny. you were working, yeah, you were working the internet circuit, but were you also frequenting places like the Leather Eagle or whatever the clubs are called? No, no. Okay. I, I kind of kept it, you know, because I also had like, a lot of shame around it. Of I wasn't, course. You know, I wasn't, I'm not so exhibitionist and I still carry that, right? Yeah. Because like, when you guys were talking about the the whole like fucking at the beach, I went like, oh my God, I could never do that. I can't fucking public, I can't go to bathhouse. I'm like a one-on-one guy, yeah. you gotcha, know? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I like it, fucked all these people completely reckless. Sure. And then I thought, hey. Where were you fucking them at? Their, their place? house. Their car. Yes. Um, what was hotels. your What was your target? It, it doesn't sound like you have much of a target demo here. No. You said every top in San Francisco. Yeah. So that means kids your own age, roughly. Did it mean older men who were abusive? Size queens. Was it black, Most, black men with huge penises, by chance? There, there were a few of those. <laughs> 
and most ma- I mean I'm in the hundreds guys oh wow so like champion like 400 like wow, probably yes and this was before it's I got more than all of us like so. and I like you know what you know what? and I just want to say I like to be super open about this mm-hmm. because I think it's important mm-hmm. absolutely I think people you yeah. know that right well, cigar guy you got to be open about There's your experiences still people on the beach. out there that think AIDS is a death sentence that you know uh you know that that it's gonna kill them and and people well, should know that I, I don't I don't think what you're saying right now is that we should encourage people to go get raw dogs no, in San no, Francisco. No, no I mean, if you are yes, doing same, that, same. then there's probably like some kind of self hatred going on, and yeah. you should yeah. look into that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you know what I mean. Too. So, but like, yeah, I felt. Can, can I just fucked. can I zero in on one encounter, Aiden, that really made you feel awful about yourself? I'm talking zero respect from whoever the guy was. Maybe he was abusive verbally physically didn't say a word to you after he ejaculated and just kicked you out of the car the hotel room was there something like that that you thought holy fuck yeah i hate what i'm doing and i hate myself huh <laughs> there was a guy mm. who said let's hook up and then he sent me a picture of his cock and then he said i could have been anybody in this room <laughs> 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 Austin. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> they always but like Austin. He sent me a photo of his cock and he said, I am come to my house. I am behind this house with the broken refrigerator. Okay. That's how you know it's the right place. Wait, 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 and I was uh, like, behind the house? I, I, I was at the house. Uh, my door is uh-huh. the door behind the broken refrigerator. That okay. is the correct house. Okay. okay. And I was like, okay. So I get in there and this guy is like, at least a hundred pounds heavier than like uh, he said, uh-huh. but I didn't care. I Catfish was already there. Thing. He leads me to the back room where all, and he's high on something, right? And everything's curtained off. And How does the like, room look? Terrifying. There's a couch. There is a, a blackout curtain on the window yeah. that he's looking out of. Ooh. There is a big screen TV with porn playing. What kind uh. of porn? Gay, gay porn, gay porn. Like straight, sorry, straight porn. He loves Lisa Ann. Yeah. Do you remember the scene by chance? What was it? Just like a guy railing somebody, or was it like a blowjob scene? I don't remember. Okay, so I don't remember. I watched a lot porn. of porn. I don't I remember. Curious. I was curious. So I was there, and then I hear fucking harmonica in the next room, oh, that's and good. I'm like, He's, "What is this?" He shares a room with a blues musician, and he goes, <laughs> "Trouble." He goes, "That's my partner, and we have an open relationship. We took some drugs." He is coming down, and so he plays harmonica to calm himself, and he and so I'm still horny. So here you are, mm. and I'm not attracted to him, mm-hmm. but I'm there. So I feel like I, ha- it, it, I wanted to leave, but like I felt like I didn't want to. Hurt- this sounds terrible. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. And so I fucked him, uh-huh. and I walked out of there. I, I, after after like 10 minutes I was like I, This isn't working I gotta go Yeah And when I got back Into the car Just like crying sure. I was like This is the worst Like what's going on With my life That's exactly what I was talking about Yeah And, <laughs> and, and I wanna hear A little bit more About the sexual encounter It sounds like You didn't wanna do it But uh, hot cross buns Being played on the harmonica Did he Was look an like aphrodisiac he, he, I, I wonder if I wonder if he looked Like much our fr- Like our friend uh, <laughs> All right, I'll suck your dick. No, I love right. this guy <laughs> because he's like, you're so unapologetically fucked up. So yeah, it's kind of exactly. a pre- it's appreci- You're yeah. honest. You're an honest man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He and, is uh, honest. And I, I apologize if I went a little hard on the lady in the last thing. It's just, it's just all in good fun. And yeah, and um, yeah, she. I called her a bitch a couple times. I use that word sometimes interchangeably mm. for girl or woman. I, I respect her. She's, that's a, how she's the, a fan of the channel. That's how the N word and bitch work in Houston. Okay, Austin. Thank oh you. God, yeah, that's that's what he does sometimes. Um, <laughs> uh, so I wonder but, if, but I, I'm, I'm still late and I want to talk to you because it what we have right now is it's and I appreciate you sharing that because that ex- is exactly what I was looking for how did the sex actually unfold with this guy who was heavier than he represented himself as being did you give him oral did he have sex with you um, while you were face down was it missionary give me some of those positionary details I don't want to talk about that positional <laughs> you don't no I, wonder, I, wonder, that, I, mean, that, that I mean I feel like I've gone far enough with entering mm-hmm. and seeing this fact I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did suck his dick I'll go that okay, far okay, okay, okay. Yeah. you just can't give me a hint were you facing the ceiling or the floor I, I was I'm, I'm not, no <laughs> no you told me you have uh, HIV question, <laughs> question. I, I had a, I had a, a lady tell me once that she she enjoyed having sex with fat guys okay this was her thing and that's fine right right but you know? she did say that when you give oral sometimes you do have to push up 
on the Ew! Old, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, yeah. I'll leave it to the imagination, but I, I, mm-hmm. I think I've here I've, I've got I've, I've gone about as far as I'm willing to okay. go on that one okay. is that okay is that okay yeah. with you I'm, I'm, yeah. su- I'm surprised totally yeah. okay with me I'm just yeah. I'm surprised cause... but like I mean like how much further you want me to go I've told you I fucked a guy with a broken refrigerator with a yeah. harmonica playing the next room give me a fucking I'll, break I'll, I'll, I'll hear, that would be traumatizing I want to hear about his hairy belly oh. Oh. His oh. maybe you're gay <laughs> hey you know there are rumors out there there, there, are. Are. there are there are plenty of rumors oh. about both of us that we are gay I feel like this this show is like like reliving it's all about reliving traumas yeah <laughs> yes yeah. of course it's like tell me all about reliving it yeah and creating new ones yeah, yeah. creating yeah. new ones uh-huh. thank you uh-huh. thank you yeah that's in dino's yeah. case creating yeah. new ones because dino yeah. he doesn't know what's happening trauma yeah dino doesn't he's never had trauma for a day in his life oh. he hasn't the trauma um, the trauma i think the is, trauma the trauma from my raw dick is mm-hmm. what he got <laughs> <laughs> he needs some of that dick. He does. He does. Uh, it, would, no, it would do him well. The trauma. I, I, I love this guy. He he says nothing. No, nah, Aiden. Aiden. His biggest trauma is like when he, dude. Fucking. We don't have any more weed. Hey, oh, mom. Fuck. You said you were gonna go to the store and get Pepsi, but it's Diet Pepsi. Look, mom. I can't. My biggest trauma was my head trauma as a baby. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You got dropped on your head? No, slammed in the door. You know what I'm saying? Did no. that actually happen? Nobody yeah. knows what you're saying. What are you saying? I'm talking about trauma. Do you know what head trauma is? I do, but I, I don't know if <laughs> you're going for a joke you know? right now. I think you know, he is going for a joke. He is I'm a not head sure. trauma. Retarded, you know about head trauma? He's more retarded than me. He's, uh, he's saying he's retarded because he got hit in the head when he was a baby. Well, that's not really a joke. He was just saying a thing that well, could or could Nobody said been. it was a good joke. <laughs> well, that's true, Aiden. He and, was but, using trauma. As emotional trauma and head trauma. I mean, okay, well, I mean, that tried. would explain a lot if what you got a head What kind of head trauma? Door. Up here or down there? Ah, no. ah, ah, ah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. I, I like yes. it. I, that was good. And, and yeah. what made it so much funnier is how uncomfortable it made Dino. Oh, yeah. That's the Dino, <laughs> Dino that's the we're cool, part. right? Aiden, by the Dino. way. Dino, <laughs> By, by the way, Aiden, Jesus, just, uh, Jesus loves you. You know how we were talking about Austin's penis? Yeah. You know, Dino's got an even bigger oh. penis. I feel like you guys just make a bunch of no. shit up about no. Dino, no, whatever no, 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 you no. feel like. Dino, uh, or Aiden, you as a bottom, you want this guy. Oh, by any means you necessary. want Dino. <laughs> you would want, he Can y'all is. you stop with the Dino gay shit? Come on. Like... Well, it's, it's, we are making a lot of people on our staff I know, uncomfortable dude, today. I know, dude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dino, I, I feel the heteroness from you. I just want you to know that I don't try to turn straight guys gay. By the way, I really never, don't. Never, they never. always cry after, so yeah, I'm not yeah, putting yeah, up yeah, with yeah. that. Uh, but Aiden, that's the thing I wanted to ask you because uh, my I've had a lot of gay friends tell me that they have so many encounters with straight guys, and this is a thing. Sure, is sure. this true? Like experimenting? Like what is it about? Like here's what, the, what it counts as straight. You know, are they just closeted or you know? Here's the deal. I feel like in big cities, mm-hmm. not really, because right. everybody can be open. I just went to Montana, right? Okay. Like, mm. I go to, like, Idaho. Like, you yeah, know, I, right. I tour, whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Strangely, I tour in these little towns. Yeah, right? he's got a following, man. Um, yeah, absolutely. I could see that 100%. Thank you. I just mm-hmm. played the Elks Lodge the, in Kalispell, Montana. Well, which I want to say also the mark of a real comedian is a guy who's out there slugging it out in Elks lounges yep. in Montana. Ah, absolutely. That's as hey, occasion. As a gay, as res- a gay Asian. Respect. Yeah. Even Thank as you. a straight white guy, respect. As a gay absolutely. Asian, respect. Absolutely. Thank you. That is, that is being in the trend. That's right. Thank you. I, yeah, I'm in the. Tra- I, 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 don't, I don't fuck around. Yeah. Right. So, in towns like that, mm-hmm. you flip on Grinder and you get a lot of profile photos that don't have pictures mm-hmm. or the face. Maybe or the face. There's mm-hmm. not. There's really nothing there. Mm-hmm. And I like what I'm hearing. And most of them are tops. Here's the, yes. This is the uh, here here. I'll break this down for you. This is education. I love it. I love it. Top bottoms are more flaming than tops generally. Yeah. Oh God, I'm going to get in trouble for this. Okay, I, anyway. I don't, I don't think so. So no. if you live in, you know, Minnesota mm-hmm. and you're a bottom and you're like me, look at my jazz hands. They bent freaking backwards. Yeah, I right? was going to mention, like, you look unreal. double jointed. I am double jointed. It, look at and that. Is that, wow. is that mm-hmm. hereditary or do you just do so many hand gestures they bent that way over the years? Much like I mean, a river can make the Grand Canyon <laughs> over time. I, I think it's a 
combination of is both. I mean, look at no way. Like, that's can we, what, can that's we get close hand. on that, Dino? That's the best gay hand I've ever seen. That in my is life. great. That is a gay hand. Wow, dude. Yeah. I think that is a product of time. Oh. That is like those structures in Utah, the big rock O's, and that is just wind carving. I did rock. used to do musicals. Okay. So just uh, one of the best b baseball pitchers ever, Pedro Martinez. His hands were like that. Oh, no. really? He could, he could throw a pitch. He yeah, could literally. Yeah, him and Aiden have a lot in common. Yeah, they have so much in common. I could fling balls all day. <laughs> he could fling balls, baby. Fling Dino's balls all day, baby. It's like the people Ooh. in Africa who walk in the jungles, their feet kind of spread out. Yes. Oh. When your fist's in a lot of ass, your hands. Oh can my god! So that you can fit it up there a lot easier. Uh, I think uh, Austin I don't and fist ass. Austin. I'm a bottom. <laughs> why, would you, why would you say that to him? And That's... also, Austin and Dino shouldn't be allowed to bring up people in Africa. It never sounds like it's going to take a good direction. Absolutely not. I don't think any <laughs> of you should America. bring up Africa. We shouldn't bring up Africa in general. Um, Aiden, um, all right, so... Yeah, so the bottoms, right? The bottoms, yes. So the bottoms, uh, as flaming... We get a lot more shit. Uh, I mean, of course, sorry. <laughs> With no pun intended. <laughs> we get a lot more, more shit, you yeah. know, people messing with us in those smaller towns yeah, and yes. so we kind of move we're forced to move because it's such a miserable experience yeah mm. so that's why they say everybody's a bottom well everybody's bottom from the perspective of somebody in la or san mm. francisco where all the bottoms have collected sure if you're a top you can blend in so 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 they stay and i just really curiously what happens with tops in la do you just get to fuck like is it a really good decision to be a top in LA? Do you just get unlimited fucking ass? You get unlimited ass, and but also Unreal. also you can be a bottom and get unlimited dick. It, it, there's plenty yeah, for everybody. For there really is. Sure. Like, I, I, how how fast? Still, I just I'm curious because in the in the in the female male world, you always have to you try to you, you got to get that like right when you're first talking, you got to be like, how fast can I? initiate the sex right yeah. and you want to take your time with it because you don't want to be just some jerk off I mean obviously in college mm -hmm. I've I've been crass and been like hey you know let's get to it you know yeah. but in the gay world can you just basically get straight no, to Leo. no you have to sow your seeds in the springtime and harvest and ah! it, it, it takes a very long I'm talking, time I'm talking like a minute I mean how <laughs> fast can you just get to fucking I, I'll, I'll give you an example you All can right. go on a website you can someone can say hey mm -hmm. and you can say hey pick oh. I'll send a pick and no. then you send the pic, and uh -huh. they go, all right, I'm at this address. I've had that happen oh several my times. God. I have, several times. Then, so you go to their house, and then you see them in person. Right. And that's it. And that's you it. just go. You and go and like, most of the time, like, I mean, maybe the photo doesn't look exactly like them, but most of the time they're passable. So okay. you open the door, and you're like, okay. And I actually do this. Like, we, we it's, I've done this. Like, we go, and then, like, do I check out? Mm -hmm. You check out? Great. And then we go yeah wow yeah. would you be willing to run a grinder profile for dino just to see how he would do in the gay world he really could... doesn't like this <laughs> he's so uncomfortable i already said stop once shut the fuck up oh, oh. man today is is it's today's the mutiny on the bounty dude everybody's mutiny <laughs> okay so all three people in here hey, you've been great aiden by the way i've taken you know. issue with what myself or leo have done <laughs> God damn it <laughs> It was too much. It's too much. Yeah, I know what it but is. For I Dino. understand Dino. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't really want to feel like I want to be labeled straight. Look, I have like I'm so gay. I have like no interest in vagina like at all. Mm -hmm. And like while I was sitting here with the whole like three mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. I was like, oh god, I I got a little like ooh, like, I, I'm so I'm, I'm so, I, I mean women it. are beautiful and everything, you know, right, like right. but like I was like ooh ah, like yeah, is yeah, that yeah. what happens? Ooh, mm -hmm. I've never seen a vagina. My mother had a cesarean. I've really never yeah. seen a vagina. Yeah, so yeah, I'm like. I mean, no. look, they, uh, they're kind of slimy. You know, yeah. some of them smell a little funky. Mm -hmm. Do they? Uh, yeah. yeah. Some Do of they them really are, smell funky? Some yeah. of them are the most beautiful things you'll ever see in your life. Dino too, doesn't think so. they smell funky. Dino is... He just shook his head. smell funky. You know. <laughs> no, no. There's some girls, I, especially in the... Uh, you know, when you're in college, like in college, you run into the stinky vagina sometimes because girls, they, they as they grow older, they know how to they take care of their vaginas more. Like, for example, I had a, this veteran chick who had slept with a lot of guys. She told me she'll stick a thumb right up there and take a whiff before she goes, you know, to, goes to have sex with the guy. Like the night's going well, they go see Aww. a movie, a dinner, or whatever. She'll go to the bathroom and stick that thumb right up her cooch. Yeah, take a good whiff to see if it's playable. You know, yeah. if it's not playable, she'll make an excuse and go pussy's, home. Yeah. Pussy's not bad, bro. Like honestly, really recommend it. You yeah. should try it sometime. You could try. Yeah. I think you'd like it, um, especially if you see a pristine one. They're literally like you'll kill yourself for that vagina. You know. Yeah. I feel like okay. My issue is like okay, like. I'm gay, but I'm also like very 
I got a lot of alpha. Dude, energy. that's what I got I'm going to say. Your like, testosterone you know levels I mean? are I, my higher. My testosterone and levels are higher. Your testosterone levels are high, man. And, and Aiden, I really want to bring it back to, I'm sorry, I want to hear about these Tinder hookups in Montana with the faceless profile. Me too, yeah. What about the, uh, well, so those happen. guys are in the closet sometimes. Yeah. You know? So that's a that's a straight guy in public that is trying to experiment and or is just gay. Right. Yeah. But I feel really bad. If I know, if I get a hint that they're like actually have a family and stuff, like uh, I, I, I won't. Wow, that happens. Yeah, of course that happens. I don't I know can. why I'm saying that. So did you hook happens. up on this last Montana stand-up trip? No. You didn't hook up? No. I'm, first no. of all, I'm sad. Sorry about yeah. that. But what about the last also, one? Also, here's the, here's the other thing. Yeah. I'm HIV positive. And like mm -hmm. I said, yeah. I want to feel, I want, I like being open about of that. Course. Right? Yes. Yes, like, yes. even though legally you don't have to and blah, 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 it's yeah. not transmittable. I feel, I still, for my comfort, I want to tell you if I'm fucking, yeah. right, whatever. Yeah. Right? So, with those guys, they're not as educated about the whole HIV thing. Yeah. So for me to be open, it's a big, bigger kerfuffle yeah, that yeah. I just don't want to mess with. You know, here in L LA, they're like, there's pills that you can take as like an antiviral right. to prevent, like it's called PrEP. Right. Yeah. We had a, a couple of our friends in Compton. They were uh, they were going out there having sex with some prostitutes that night, and they told us they took PrEP. Yeah. You know, and, that, and that's great. You know, they're safe. They're being safe. If uh, what if they just mandated PrEP? Instead of like the vaccine, could we just stop AIDS? You know, one generation of everybody just takes AIDS pills and then AIDS is gone. Well, you got to take it every single day. So there's a little bit of a problem with that. I don't think, uh, you know, some of those uh, Brentwood moms in L.A. might have a problem with their kids taking an AIDS medication every day. <laughs> and there are risks like, you know, kidney right. stuff. Mm -hmm. Like there are. So it's not like 100 percent. And also, can you imagine mandating? A, oh, my God. That'd be crazy. No, <laughs> I'm not saying it's a good idea. I was just thinking like if everyone's on prep. Yeah. You know, or if everybody who's HIV gone. positive is should be. undetectable yeah. and they know, right. then there wouldn't be transmission. Well, that, that that was my point, is because usually yeah. you have transmission because people don't know that they're transmissible. Yeah, yeah, that's um, right. So Dino's gay. Uh, Cigar guy, you've been quiet. <laughs> you've been quiet, man. I'm sorry, Dino. He's so pissed. <laughs> He's pissed yeah, Cigar real. guy, can you take the mic? Have you, have you recovered a little bit? How are you doing over there? Oh, good, man. I'm just letting, I'm enjoying listening to this guy talk. Yeah, He's got the, the anti-anxiety dog. We've been, we've been getting deep. It's yeah, been fun. He has a good, uh, you got a good voice. Oh, Aiden is, uh, it, he he can engulf the room. And, yeah. yeah. That's what I saw real at commanding. the ha, -ha. When oh, I saw him did yeah. stand-up, when I saw him do the stand-up, that's what he did. That's good stuff, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, oh. Cigar Guy, I want to give particular praise right now to Cigar Guy because last night when we were trying to film a pornography, just to set the stage for everybody, last August, we filmed a pornography with Ann Lanigi, longtime crew member and his girlfriend. We did the same thing this weekend. Better YouTube video, We, because, you know, Aiden, every porn has a story. I'm not sure about gay porn, actually. I've only seen a couple of videos. There's some good actors in gay porn, no? They don't have a story. We don't want stories. Yeah, uh, see, they're know. they're impatient, Leo. <laughs> That's just, they want the, the send the cock pic, come over, do you check out, let's fuck. Yeah. Uh, but yeah I mean, a guy like you, you need a little bit of romance. Oh, of God course. knows. I mean, you know, an oral sex on the first date? No. I would never do that. I would never get blown in my car or anything like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Leo, like, I, I'm a real gentleman about the way I go mm -hmm. about my, my uh, hookups. He needs to meet the parents. Yeah. He needs classical music to be playing. That means no harmonica. Oh, go I get tested. She gets tested. Is this like a Dino situation where yes. you're bullshitting? He yes. loves, uh, he yeah, loves yeah. getting his dick sucked in high school I, parking I, I, I like <laughs> yes. not high school, but parking lots usually good. Uh, <laughs> Elementary. Like that. Not high school. <laughs> like, not high school parking lots. But I like like uh, a good, you know, corporate parking lot. Any, yep. I would say a Target, a Ross. Yeah. Uh, maybe even Ross Bed Bath & Beyond. That's a little low income, the Ross. Yeah, yeah, the you Ross, might yeah. you might get held up if you're right, outside. Exactly. Right. You're, you're, I'm going uh, definitely not a Kmart, but maybe more like a Whole Foods parking aren't lot. There, That's Aren't there security guards at those places? Yeah, but you know, I'm getting off in a minute and a half cuz I'm uncircumcised, and baby. You'll be amazed at what $20 <laughs> you know what I mean? can do too, Aiden. Oh, hey yeah. guy. What are you doing there, sir? Oh, uh, no, hey, take this, man. Uh, yeah, and then, I'm getting my dick sucked, man. It, Actually, he did a video where he literally told a sale remember when we had a you had a park outside the, the best buy and they'd bring you out your merchandise with, during the covid so he did that and and he was pretending to get blown by a chick and they didn't even flinch they actually still completed the sale that's because so, uh, you know that's because that was leo's stomping ground parking lot it was they, they were, were used, used to, it. to it but uh just to get back to this real quick we last night had to get iggy and dino is so tuned out now he's just doing 
Jesus Dino, knows what on his phone. We'll have a meeting. We'll have a, we'll call an emergency meeting after this. Right? Yeah, we will. We yeah. will. I think all these guys need access to a counselor. Dino Austin and cigar guy. But yeah. we got Iggy and his girlfriend over here to have sex last night. Mm -hmm. And it was a little bit of a fiasco. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we invited another girl to come over to the porn just to hang out because we just thought another girl would look good in the thumbnail in the bus wall because the plan was we were going to drive Iggy and his girlfriend around in a 1960s VW bus while they fucked hippie style. Hmm. Well, this girl, Leo, showed up with her boyfriend. And fan of the channel? Yes, the boyfriend was a fan of the channel. But when he heard that his girlfriend was going to be riding around in a bus that he wasn't allowed to be in mm -hmm. while people fucked, he understandably freaked out. Of course. And, and uh, she was okay with it. She set him up like, yeah. Well, she wanted to. You could tell she wanted to make yeah, us happy. But then yeah. Cigar Guy went over and talked to the couple, realized this was a, a real strain. The girl never told me she had a boyfriend. Okay. So I wasn't trying to deceive the boyfriend or keep him away or anything. She just showed up with a boyfriend. We're like, oh, who's this guy? Is this her dealer? Mm. Is this an assassin? And he knows where I live now. Assassin. So we... we Bid them farewell. Said, sorry, guys. Misunderstanding. You're welcome to leave. We're sorry. The kid was a fan. We shook hands. It was all good. But then afterwards, we come back to the van. It's now 8 p.m. after a long day of filming. And Iggy tells us, not for the first time, that he is not feeling it. He cannot get a hard on. He can't fuck. I remember the last time this happened. And remember he had the heart to heart with us. We tried to get him out. I think that he's one of those guys that's just going to need to get, like, the blue chew. He and did. he's going to have to be chewing it all well, day. He did. He, he took it. He took two. He took two. But two different times. I'm not going to ruin the ending, but. So he starts talking about, can he come over tomorrow and film the porn tomorrow? But we only had the van rental, which was central to the narrative we constructed here, Aiden. Yeah. We only had that until this morning. So that wouldn't be there. The costumes wouldn't be there. The spirit wouldn't be there. We'd be a bunch of street clothes wearing motherfuckers watching two people fuck on the carpet in here. So yeah. fun. It would not tie into what we'd crafted. So we have to start playing the Get Inland Iggy Drunk game. Wow. That's what we had to start doing. And Cigar Guy, bless his heart, because right when I heard that, I got a little impatient. I was like, whoa, whoa what can we do? We can't, we can't wait till tomorrow. We must act now. But Iggy, I, go into the bathroom, watch porn, get your dick hard, come out and fuck. But Cigar Guy, as he often does, was playing the spiritual guy. He was channeling the vibe of the video more perfectly than I was which I'm embarrassed about mm. because right when Iggy said he couldn't fuck cigar guy's like, no worries, bro. We're going to go inside. We're going to smoke some weed. We're going to put on some Zeppelin. We're going to have some drinks and we're just going to chill. No pressure. And that was the atmosphere we needed. That's good shit. Yeah. That's great, man. That's what the guy you need on the baseball team. When anxiety is high, <laughs> people are fighting and, and you know, amongst themselves. You need that one guy who's just like, Hey man, it's all peace and love, baby. Mm-hmm. We're going to go after, out after this, and we're going to party. We're going to have some drink at Chili's. Yeah. We're going to get hopped up on some fucking cranberry yeah. vodkas and yeah. maybe, you know, hit on the bartender again. Yeah, that was the guy in high school who, incidentally, Aiden would genuinely, generally fuck. Absolutely. Yeah, that was the guy. Yeah, yeah. Just because he was so the peacemaker open, hippie open, guy. Yeah, the peacemaker guy who was open Hell about, yeah, like, all the pussy he got, but in reality, yeah. Sick. he wanted to get fucked in the ass. Cigar Aww. guy. Cigar guy suggests, or maybe Donnie suggests, that's Iggy's girlfriend, that we go to a sex shop. To get Iggy some more, uh, I don't know, penis hardeners, yeah. sex okay. drive enhancers. Yeah, okay. maybe Rhino. a butt plug, you know? Maybe. So yeah. we, so we're driving, uh, fucking up to the, the the sex shop. Fucking Mia, we, like, Mia flashes a random um, Mexican gentleman. Is she drunk? Uh, no. It's hilarious. It's yeah. unreal, dude. Yeah, yeah. She we opened this van door, slid it from the side, yeah, even, like forty down the street, and she was like, "Hey, motherfucker, look, look at, at my tits." <laughs> Flash is this wow. Mexican dude. So she, you're rubbing off on her. Yeah, I think bit. absolutely. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. I think Dot, Dottie did too, right? Yeah, she did. She flashed. And then so we go, we pick up the, the pills. We come back here. Iggy starts drinking more. And Iggy, when he drinks, he more than anybody else, because most people when they drink become, <laughs> they become more of something. Leo becomes more of a scumbag. Mm. Cigar guy would become more of a hipster. Aiden, you would become <laughs> even more flamboyant. Dino would yeah. suck even more dick. Yes. If that's possible. Because Dino. he's so gay. It's crazy. Dino, uh, you know we're fucking around, baby. Dino, we'll have Dino, a talk after. He is so sour looking. Come on, man. It's, it's nothing. It's you're, all right, you're safe behind your camera pole. You can use that as a weapon if any of us get any ideas. 
God, what if he just clubbed me to death with that Sony? Dude, it's possible right now? if he just lost it. You know, just if, lost it on me. If anyone was going to shoot up the studio one day, God damn it! Oh, is no. it Dino? It's probably Dino. Oh my God! Will what he wear if, a trench coat? What if we find a video manifesto? Yeah. Nobody <laughs> respects my genius. <laughs> oh my I'm a beautiful God. boy. Oh I am God. so based, and my dick is so big, and yeah. I am relegated. To bitch work. Yeah, dude. I'm giving you credit with relegated. I don't think that would be in his video manifesto. God damn yeah. it. Unless he had a Webster's on his lap. That's true, bro. So, so, uh, th so uh, Iggy, on the other hand, when he drinks, he I, he's Native American, Aiden. So I think there's some sort of like uh, genome or like molecule that doesn't interact well with the alcohol because they're notoriously not good with liquor. It's like, um, Asian people, too, have heard the same thing. Terrible. Yeah, so, but mm. Iggy, like, it, alcohol works is like, um, it's like a psychoactive substance with him. He becomes like a demon. He he's does. A, he's a, and he's a little mini demon, yeah, with, he's got the long hair and a big penis. It's, he's a sight <laughs> to behold. He, he is like one of Satan's agents. Like yeah, 100%. Uh, he looks like, he could sprout wings and just, rah, just go into the sky, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the, so the dick hardeners wouldn't do it, but alcohol did it. Yeah, yes. well, it lowers his inhibitions. And then, because he, he really cares about the channel and us, he's very, very loyal. Fiercely loyal. Nervous, right? So he doesn't want to let us down, which is, which is ah, awesome. Ah, and let you down. Yeah, but uh, exactly. He doesn't he doesn't want to let us or himself down. And he will start talking the way to know if Inlanegi starts getting drunk is he starts locking on to one of his um he's got a couple of subjects. He talks about speeding on the freeway. Mm. He you took know, me speeding. You once. know if he gets buzzed, mm -hmm. he's gonna start telling you about drag racing and breaking a hundred mm -hmm. in his Camaro. <laughs> That's something he loves to talk about. Number two Money making schemes. Oh yeah, 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 dude. He loves talking about. He was giving. It started off innocent and, pl and plausible enough. He was giving my girlfriend and cigar guy advice on crypto, how to yeah. make money on crypto. But then at one point, at his drunken, uh, uh, at his most drunken, I'm gonna let cigar guy share what, what Iggy was talking about. He was like, well, yeah. At first, he was like, I can get you life insurance for five dollars right now. I was like, you can? No way. <laughs> he was like, right now. No, he was being serious. And then eventually, he was like. Man, I've, I've, I've done a lot of things to make money, man. I'm like, yeah, like what? And he's like, I've sold people. I was like, how many people have you sold? Oh, my God. He's like, I've, he's, I've sold four. It's, it's not true. He's a 23-year-old <laughs> little Indian man with a big penis. He doesn't so he sell wanted, anyone. He wanted life insurance because he was going to sell you. Maybe. Know. He said, Maybe. I, I said, how many people? He said, three. And he was like, <laughs> just like. <laughs> it's it's okay. Yeah. And I know I this like, might be a sensitive subject for you, but it's I was not like, true. Nobody sold any. He didn't. It was definitely not a South Korean. And, yeah, because I mentioned. was like. Well, it was a North Korean. I, I was. What, yeah. well, I said, North what kind of people? Huh. And he said, Egyptians. And what I was like, who would you sell Egyptians to? Well, and then he showed me his middle finger. I thought he was just flipping me off, but apparently he has like a Star David on yeah. his finger. Yeah, he's, he's like, what's that mean? I was like, fuck you. The Jews, dude. And he's like, no, what does that mean? I was like, because I, I wasn't looking at his tattoo. Yeah. He's like, the, the Jews. Yeah, you may. Aiden is Does he have money? He's, he's doing good. Oh, he's doing good? Uh, he's, he's a nurse. He's got a good job. He's, Supplements yeah. that had come with OnlyFans, and he right. sells Egyptians to Jews. Right. Oh, well, that's that, that's someone to listen to. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Yeah. And he's a crypto he, uh, millionaire. He, he said, but he, really? he was telling no, us he sold, he's, he's telling us he sold Egyptians to Jews, which, um, <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense because, I mean, the Egyptians... Like they, I mean, back in the day, there were the plagues and there was like God and there was the sheep blood over the fucking doors. So there is beef there. And I could see why the Jews would like want to own oh, yeah. sort of like somebody would put a fucking Marlin up over their desk in their office. Yeah. I could see a Jew wanting to get an Egyptian mm, to like uh, to taxidermy for their living room. Of course, it'd be like uh, any any hunter who has game, you know, maybe a, the the bust of a, of a deer or an elk. Yeah. On his uh, over his mental piece. Same thing. But Iggy. That was after he fucked. What um, he just he always likes to have heart to hearts before he fucks. He did it and, again. Yeah, and he just he wanted to say like, "Hey man, I respect you. Like, I don't want to let you guys down." And I just told him, "Dude, no fucking judgment. I know you're gonna deliver. You're gonna get in there and you're gonna fuck. But if you don't, no big deal. We can f anytime this week. You want to come by? We won't have the van. Whatever. It'll still work out." And as I was rubbing his shoulders and looking into his eyes and speaking these words, I could see the bulge growing in his pants, Aiden. And I said, go be who you were meant to be. <laughs> go ravage your girlfriend. Is ravage a synonym for sex or for rape? I'm not sure. But go have consensual did, sex with your girlfriend. Ravage her. Go ravage your girlfriend on the couch. And that's where it started. And then we realized, hey, we got to take this out to the van. This is where it got a little dicey because our neighborhood uh, is, has no shortage of children. 
and they were out playing football and uh, <laughs> like playing with uh, Cigar Guy's dog earlier. And <laughs> Inlegi at one point runs out the door, waddles out the door because he's fully erect into the van oh and starts God. fucking Donnie in the van with all the lights on in the van because we needed it for filming purposes oh my with God. all the windows open. It was so oh wild. Oh, my God. And then I tore out of that driveway. They fucked on this couch, didn't they? Yeah, they no. did. You told me they didn't! I thought it was uh, no, no they didn't. Uh, I, I was lying. They did make you feel better. I was lying. <laughs> the past, they fucked the on those steps right there for a second. They fucked on this couch, too. In the oh. past. No, they I'm fucked on this couch. On this oh, they did? Yes, oh. they did. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. It's going to make you straight, Aiden. I'm sorry. You can no. you can live the next part of your life straight. It'll be fun. If it makes you feel better, it was probably anal sex, so it's what you're more <laughs> used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. <laughs> it was. It just got Wow. Yeah, and uh, when they were fucking, we did some fun stunts. Like, we, where's the pinwheel? This hypnosis pinwheel. Guys, we got a hell of a video coming for you on Friday. Oh, yeah. We got Adam22, who's a very influential podcaster and fellow in the hip-hop and BMX community. In Lanigi put his cock through this hole and hypnotized Adam-22 into letting Adam-22, or into letting Iggy fuck Adam-22's wife, which in our story, Donnie was Adam-22's mm -hmm. wife. But then Iggy, Leo, look at this, actually got his dick sucked through this pinwheel hole. Donnie no. sucked his cock through here while I was spinning it to hypnotize. Oh, that's hilarious. Then at one point, we opened the sliding door on the van and just let the neighborhood see what was taking place inside. Oh, my God. They were slam He was slamming into that white vagina with his big Indian cock while houses just flew unreal. by on La Cienega Boulevard. It was unreal. It's... uh. It'll be a sight to behold, I'm sure. It'll yeah. be a it'll be a big uh, hit on Pornhub. Aiden, I want you to masturbate to the porn. Ah, no. You can yeah. try. <laughs> I want you, you to try. I, I'm like, this is so interesting because you know, usually the podcast that invite me on mm -hmm. is like, we're gonna talk about how to make ourselves better, you know, stuff of course, like that. Yeah, of course. Like, this is so interesting. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, this is a whole world I've yeah. never. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like Aiden, just sticking dicks right through the pinwheel. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> Dino's gonna sitting suck. on fucked couches. <laughs> Dino's it's just gonna suck his first dick today. Uh, Aiden, <laughs> you it, the kind of the, the lengths we'll go to for content. I mean, the ends of the earth. I would I Anything. would march. I would take a ship to Antarctica and march across those penguin infested tundras in the name of creating a good video. Oh, yes. Aiden, also, I just wanted to let you know, he has double vaginal to girl with his good friend. I have. He put his penis in the same hole. Same time. Well, that's okay. Same time. same time. One was wearing a condom. There was you weren't one. wearing a condom. There, uh, of course not. Yeah, okay, well, okay, I actually yeah. was. There was. You a, were wearing a condom, and, and he wasn't. Walking. Yeah, but it's your girlfriend. No, what? No. Wait, what? I'm How sorry. <laughs> How dare sorry. you? I'm sorry. What? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> Wait, I got confused. You? No, no, oh, no. you just double vaxxed was a random ago. girl. Yeah, yeah, years ago. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you were the one with the condom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that girl was like unrelated, like some girl in the yes. ether. Yes, she was. She, she was in the ether, and she was actually a spirit woman. And no, no, no. She was in heaven. Heaven's Gate. Yeah, <laughs> she was. She was. She had yeah, yeah. died and been reincarnated as like uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we did that, Aiden. And what do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's fine. Thank that's you. That's great. I think that's you're still 100% hetero. Give me wow. Po give me points he needs for to know that too. a lot of people out there yeah. should hear this. Like you can double vag a girl and yeah. still you can be... double vag a girl and still be straighter than Dino. I'm so kidding. Ah! I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I just had to do it. Ah! I'm so sorry. Ah! <laughs> Uh, oh, whatever. God. I gave yeah, you the yeah. keychain. Yeah, you like no. the keychain? No, no, it's, yeah, he's, he's the keychain's really cool. He's gonna use like it to. Uh, he's gonna yeah, use it to pry. Go. He's gonna use it to pry semen out of his asshole. Ah, oh no! That's oh what it's for. God. It's a cum scooper. It is. Show it. Hold it up to the camera. See the. It That's says it. yay. Yeah. Which is a kind of a play on words yeah. for that word that Dino hates so much. Yeah. Gay. He doesn't hate so it. So it is. Doesn't. It is this. Would you say this is a gay bottle opener? Oh yes, yes, yes yeah. very much it's so. A, it, it's, it's been blessed by a gay rabbi. You open it up and pour out whatever <laughs> you, you need to pour it. out. Right? <laughs> right. No, this is awesome, dude. Buy one. Thank of these you. Ever. You know what? I wanted to. It's based on my book. Okay, so the I called mm -hmm. it the art of being. I wanted to call it the art of being gay. Yeah, because right. it's happy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the editors were like. If you call it that, everybody's going to think that you're just trying to turn the world homosexual. Mm. And so I changed it to that. But That's now what I Dino thinks. Fast. Dino, yeah, thinks Dino does think that. Dino, do you think I'm trying to turn you gay? <laughs> yeah, probably does think that. Fuck. I don't know you really. I just met you two minutes ago. I don't I'm think a good so. person. I don't think so. Yeah. I hope not. <laughs> Dino, wait. You guys should smoke Aiden, a piece I'm gonna by I'm going to need after. you to pop your cock through this and show it to Dino. No, because ah! another guy's cock has been through this. Did Thank you guys you. disinfect? Uh, quit acting like that's a deterrent that's, that's to you. That's gayer than that is, You want nothing more than to slide it in. 
You want to clean do, this thing I out with your I do want to break tongue. some stereotypes. I do. Oh, you're going to go. You have a big I'm penis. I'm not going to do it. I do have a big penis. Nice. Okay, now I have um, a story about a nice. Korean with a big penis. My buddy worked uh, in the locker room for the Dodgers, and uh, the guy, he is a big Korean pitcher, has a giant guy. He had the biggest penis, bigger than all the Dominicans, all the black guys, all wow. the white guys. It was a Korean. Yeah. Just, just letting you know. But you know what? I'm a grower, not a shower. So if oh. we were all to take a shower together. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. We're. <laughs> we will. I mean, will. afterwards, Absolutely. now I'm sitting on this vagina juice. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. um, like, I'm, like, literally, like, this big, like, when I'm flaccid. Me too. Okay. But it's literally, yeah. like, right? I'm, yeah, like, nice. balloon animal. You blow. You're, like, what? You're, like, what? a huge penis, too. Huge. Just, yeah. But, like, mm-hmm. it, when it's, like, down, <laughs> it's, like, right? It's, like, yeah. it's how King Croc yeah, King Croc's good. We got a black guy in our crew. You would like him too. Yeah, it's like it's like that. Oh my god! It went from this when he got out of a river in Yosemite, granted yeah. a cold river, yeah. to I, I'm not exaggerating. A lot of people do this shit and they're just completely lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like girls be like, "Yeah, my boyfriend's got a big dick." It's like this, and you're like, "No, it's probably like six inches, which is like this." Yeah. But King Croc, I mean, I'm not really exaggerating, am I? Like that? That is a huge penis. That that Shot. is a huge penis. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fucked up. Where are you? Where are you, Aiden? Aiden is making. And, and I, I by the way, this is terrible her. radio. I am for King Croc's penis. This is like the size of a big Gatorade bottle in height. Okay, mm. Here's the thing. I measured with a ruler. Yeah. Okay. And legitimately, I'm seven point five. Now, oh, wow. that's not that big. What? But I feel like everybody exaggerates. Everybody goes, "A dude, I'm like a nine when yeah. they're really a six and a half. Yeah. So that does, um, those people are called Austin and Dino. Or actually, oh, excuse oh. me, Austin. Austin. Hey, hey. See, Dino, Dino, that. Dino would rather have a small penis than be gay because he oh, never yeah, laughed at a gay joke of so course, far. Of course. A lot of people, there isn't consistency when it comes to measuring the penis. It can cause problems. There was some project in the middle of the last century where we tried to collaborate with Europeans on some sort of rocket. And the issue was we were working in metric and they were working. No, no, they were working in metric. We were working on the imperial system. The same thing happens with cock measurements, because if you measure from the top or the side, I measure from the top, which is the honest good old-fashioned way to do it. Gotcha. If you measure from the side, there's much more give in your pubic bone. And we're not using the same sort of scale there, brother. So what mm. I need you to do, Aiden, is I need you to go take the fucking ruler, put it on top of your cock, into the bone where there's no give, and then give me a measurement. Because that's into how scientists bone? do it. Yes, that's no, how scientists there's, there's do it. fleshy part here. So I, if you pull back... Right, yeah. you could get a little bit more. You could get more. Yeah, but uh, you can get more, but your cock isn't actually getting bigger as you do that. I'm like seven half... Not doing the pulling back. Is that not considered big in the gay community? Because that's, that's, that's above big, average. But I feel like it's like not that big. I don't think it's that big. I've seen bigger. It's not like, you know, I'm some special. Yeah. Like, I feel like. You, You're yeah. special, but just not. Well, thank you. I'm just very nice. Absolutely. But, you know, I'm like not. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like a museum piece. I'm working with some heat, brother. What does that mean? Tell us. I'm hanging. If you'd oh, like to, you you got you a big want, dick? You don't want to show him the one? Show him the one. Show You're him gonna show pic. me a dick pic? Yeah, yes. he is. He is. He is. Oh, okay. I will give you some respect, Danny, for measuring from the top. That is pretty. Hey, he's an that's honest pretty guy. Alpha. I'm an honest guy, man. <laughs> I uh, ba- that's a based way to measure your cock. Mm-hmm. Such a waste because I'm a I'm pretty I'm pretty I, I like bottoming. I don't really like to top. I don't really honestly like if I when I top I feel like you're rubbing my elbow. Like I don't really feel anything. Mm. Oh, gotcha. So. It's a waste. It's like a showpiece. It's like, gotcha. what is this? Yeah. You know? Mm. Well, it's something to grab onto when the guy gives you a reach around. Maybe. Mm. I don't even really like that because it's clumsy. It's like, mm. like I can jerk off myself. Just, just stay off of it. Mm. I don't gotcha. even like blowjobs, really. Mm. Mm. So how do you ejaculate? I jerk off. You while, jerk off. While you're getting railed in the ass. May sometimes maybe, okay. but yeah, just, just in yeah. general. Yeah. When what do gay guys decide they like to start putting stuff in their ass before they actually have sex with the dude, or is that the first thing that usually goes up a gay guy's ass is another penis? Because I feel like like because I know I just don't want anything up my ass. I'm sh- I didn't either though. Okay, there like it is. here's the deal, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> like when I first started hooking up, like uh, it's not a natural thing to want to of get course. fucked up. It's not. Right. Yeah. So Dino's for good. years, I just said like, okay, I just want to do like, it is for Dino. you know, oral <laughs> stuff or whatever. Like I don't really, really don't want to. And then some guy wanted to try it Dino. and convinced me into it. And I did it. Mm-hmm. And then that became a more frequent thing, yeah. which then turned into like a habit. Yeah. And I did it's try like topping a good right. 20, 30, 
40 mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I did. I did. I tried. You tried. Mm-hmm. It just, I didn't feel like anything for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I'm sorry, Austin. I, I don't, I don't want, I, I didn't mean, I, you know, you know, I'm just saying like, it's a, it's a, the choir taste. It could be potentially a choir taste. Yeah. Not that you want to yeah. do whatever. No, no, no. no, 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 no not that you want to do it. Austin I'm just, is, I just look away because I have to look at the screen every once in a while. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, he's, he's I'm like, I just want to make sure I'm not offending you. So basically what he's saying is Dino and Austin, you guys got to try at least seven to 40 dicks up the ass before you know if you're, if you like it or not. So. Or not, or not. You know what? If you never want to be to do anything with a dick ever, like I'm yeah. okay with that. I'm not like one of those like, oh, you. Everybody should try. How do you know? Like because I know I don't want to try vagina. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how can I say you should try dick if I'm not willing to try vagina? Well, Dino, we found a book of poems of his, and penis was a frequent topic. Yeah. So we have a hint that he might be into it. He's. Uh, it's like he's one of the classic, slightly homophobic guys out there who. <laughs> He's homophobic because he's afraid that, yes, of course, he wants something in his ass. Bro, poems? Yeah. When do you think I've ever written a fucking poem? Oh, I, I found I your book of verse. I not even You saw I mean, I don't know if you, you remember an artistic. One? You're an artistic. I didn't even. Yeah. That, wait, wait, that, hey, that wait. Know. I remember he read this yeah. to me. Uh, a while ago, and I think it's I think he has it like uh, slightly memorized. Yeah, so yeah, it, it went something and like Dino, this. He he, it's very cliche the way right. he writes verse. Mm-hmm. So don't expect I don't know like a Shakespearean sonnet here. Right, but it, it went. Was, I found this. It was mm-hmm. um, it was it was called Roses okay. by Dino Schlosser, and mm-hmm. then he drew a dragon next to his name, and it of went. Course. Roses are red, violets are blue, mm-hmm. penises are big and filled with goo. <laughs> God, yeah. When they shoot their this. cum, mm-hmm. I chew it like gum, mm. and I make the guy who owns the cock my boo. There it is. He, uh, he. Now listen. You might think we're exaggerating, in, but he, we, I read this. I saw this with my own eyes, yeah. and it was shocking yeah. to see. To say nothing less, it was shocking because he is so. An, you know, he's not anti-gay, but he is very. Well, like, he's he's he, he's nervous by the. He's made nervous by the topic. Yes, yeah, so he's listen, Aiden. He says that watching porn. Even the hetero porn is gay because it's another man's dick. You're cucking and it's another man's penis. Defend your poem. Oh, so he actually does think that. Okay. Yeah, he does. He does. Oh, okay. Okay. He needs help. I he thought you were joking. I can't tell whether you're joking or no, not. No, we're being honest actually, now. This now we're being honest. We're being honest. He needs your help, Aiden. What? How, how he, is <laughs> jerking off to two people fucking not inherently gay like some like... You got to agree. Like, if you're jerking off to a dude fucking a chick, you're kind of getting off to the dude fucking yeah, the chick. You I know certainly what I'm don't jerk off to a guy fucking a chick. Tell him I what don't. you jerk off to. I think he needs to I know, know. but he, you he were, jerks like, off the to designated a guy to ask what's gay or what's not. So what, so what do you jerk off to then? Lesbian porn? I don't jerk off to porn. What do he, you jer- well, he jerks then, off to his drawings. Just, just pictures of women? No. I jerk off to bitches I fucked. In my head, I don't know. So the, like, that would be Jesus. one fan. But then does that not make you a homo See, because uh, for was, yourself, was, kind of? Because you're picturing yourself there, right? Or are you like inter- yeah. Are you like looking? Nice. Very very me. good point, Aiden. Thank you. Because I, don't, I, can't, I, I can't visual myself in third person fucking them. Yeah, but you see your own dick going yeah. out of her. <laughs> Aiden, I think you need to... Yeah. Maybe walk right. him through one of your pornography, no, one of your but, favorite. But points. like, I get what Aiden's Dude, saying. You must think it's gay to just jerk off then, because you're rubbing a dick. Oh my god, that's disgusting. It's my Dino. own dick. But Dino, it's like, no but you're right. I think so. The act of you putting your penis in a girl is totally straight. But what Aiden is saying, and I happen to agree, when you reflect on that act, you're recalling a penis that is no longer your own yes. going into the hole. Yeah. So it you're thinking, my, uh, no, it, how is it not? There's no way you can recall in minute detail what your penis looks like. Therefore, you're imagining a different cock, why which makes you, you a why cock are you dreamer. I'm imagining my cock. You're a cock dreamer. Cock dreamer, Dino. A cock dreamer. Oh my god. <laughs> Dino the cock what? dreamer, dude. Dino, I'm going to make you a custom pillow that's just going to be covered in different types of phalluses. So How sorry. much bigger is your fake cock that you dream up in your head than oh, your real cock? Oh, no. It's honestly smaller because my dick is so big, you can't even, like, comprehend. See, he's deflecting through yeah. humor you know, now. The gayest thing about this whole thing is how much he is protesting this whole I know, thing. I know, I know. Yeah. You know what? But, 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 but you're very though. nice. You're very... <laughs> he might be the gayest member in this of the crew. See, this is why it's annoying, dude. They always call me gay every day. Not every day. Just when you oh. resist the idea of being gay. It's funny because every day. you hate it so much. <laughs> Yeah, because you can watch another man and not feel gay. Absolutely. I even gave him a pass for sticking a dick in, in with another girl. With another girl in I, the I'm same not, hole. I'm straighter than you, Dino, by a long shot. 
Yeah, fu- double vagging a girl is more straight than jerking off. Well, you heard it from the gay guy. Well, yeah, because he's open about it. He's yes. like, this is what I did, and that's it. Thank you know. You. But if you're like, ah, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, then it mm-hmm. kind of makes you look a little gay. Yes. Do you know, he told us a story once where he was playing Super Smash Brothers, oh, yeah. and he felt something stirring down below when his opponent was fucking him up with Marth. Right. He, the, uh, the image of a man with a cloak and a sword right. is deeply arousing to you. Is it not, Dino? No. He also swords are he, fucking based. What's arousing about a sword? They're phallic. He told you us like that them. Phallic. He told us that he he dreamed that his his actual you know uh, uh, fantasy threesomes with Donkey Kong, and he wants to double team a chick, chick with Donkey Kong. But he also said he wouldn't mind just it be him and Donkey Kong. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. What is true is I caught Danny and Leo fucking in the bathroom. Oh, nobody's gonna believe that for a second. Before I got here in the podcast, sure, dude. dude. See, the reason he likes Donkey Kong, Aiden, is because Donkey Kong is the quintessential bear, but the tie indicates he has a job and he can support you. That's so funny. (laughs) Honestly, the the main reason it's annoying is because I feel like. Danny and Leo are gay pedophiles. What the fuck? Trying to rape me. <laughs> what wait, the but I wanna fu- wait, 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 wait. Me I, too. I, I do want to talk about this because you went from like gay to pedophile, like right. being gay and pedophile, which is kind of a little offensive. Synonymous. Yes, thank you. It is yeah. Aiden. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. Thank it kind of is because yes. I'm sitting here and I'm talking about being gay, right. and he goes, "Oh yeah, you're gay and, and pedophile," pedophile. Yeah, yeah. Like, as if that's Whoa. a connection. It's like saying so you're kind of a little bit like, "What are you?" It's like saying trying to say. It's like yeah. saying you're black it's like and the poor. It's like a typical thing. Like <laughs> the little Texas boy moves to California, 18, and then oh. Big famous gay pedophile. <laughs> His eyes oh, got really? huge as he said that. I think it's because he's turned on. Really? So we 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 uh, we've been uh, what? We groomed you, Dino. We groomed yes. How old you. Is this guy. He's nineteen. 19. 19. Oh well, then whatever. yeah. Thank you. Nineteen whatever. as of yesterday. Thank you, Aiden. Congratulations. The porn on Sunday and you my really birthday. know yourself at nineteen. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. D- Dino, you gotta. There's a lot for you to figure out still about yourself. And uh, most of that stuff to figure out is that you're gay. <laughs> Yeah, Derek, Derek, you need to start growing up and get your life together because look at how much he's accomplished. By the time he was your age, he already had AIDS. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Austin wins. Flawless victory. (laughs) Dino, you need to get cracking. That was great. That was great. I could take it all day. We should. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. We should bring Dino different variations of anal beads every podcast. You got to go catch something, dude. You should at least have like scurvy by now. You know what, Dino? We know you're straight. We're really happy that you're here. They obviously love you. And I know you don't know me, but I... I'm rooting for you for whatever you want to be yeah. in the future. I can't believe you called this Hollywood pedophile. Yeah, so. <laughs> that was really fucked up. As if, as if we're like yeah. tantamount to like producers at Sony Pictures. Yeah, we're podcast dudes. We have, we have zero legal, power. Right? You're Harvey yes. Weinstein. Yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. acting like a victim, like eighteen-year-old pedophile. We have like, zero power over anybody in this room. All right, you are gonna have to suck my dick if you wish to remain on the show, though. <laughs> The uh, oh my god! I well, I still think it's a great idea for us to call Herbie's girl and tell us that we, tell her that we have a guy with AIDS. Sure, they can give her some advice. What's our runtime right now, Wasty? Uh, we're like in an hour and a half, including the cutout. Sure, let's um, let's call Herbie's girl real quick. Yeah, I get, I texted you her number. Did you get it? What time are we leaving Burbank? Uh, three thirty. Oh, okay. Do you, you think she'll pick up? Oh yeah, she's uh, waiting for the call. Is she? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Big I fan. Just didn't see Look, I've had so many girlfriends tell me... Are we still recording? Yeah. yeah. I've had so many girlfriends tell me that, you know, they get herpes or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what? You know, if you're honest and you're taking care of it... It's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah, it's and not that's a big not a big deal. deal. And that's yeah. what we... I think that's what we got her to believe when she was on this pot, in this podcast mm-hmm. room. Mm-hmm. I did at some point... It was... I don't know what came over me, but I did scream and say, you have herpes it when was, she was talking. It might have been my favorite moment of the podcast. Yeah. But it was it was wrong of me. But I... You know, I apologize. Let, let's, and let's, okay let's do an, uh, a reenactment of it. Right. So Leo was trying to have a conversation with, say, Cigar Guy over mm-hmm. there. So you're like okay. mid-convert. Talk about the dog. Like, so the dog... Uh, what kind of breed and, is and it? And this one time when you I was in Kansas... <laughs> it was like that. It was like that. <laughs> that was so funny. Can I do funny. my impression of it? So I'm going to talk sure. to Cigar. You sure. be the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, Cigar, um, the dog, so is it going to grow up to be a police I guy? Sh- 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 shut up. You have herpes. That's more what it was. You said Aww. shut up a couple of times. Yeah, I did. Shut, you did you have say herpes. Shut up. Yeah. But still, I mean, it was cruel, but it wasn't as cruel as the Santa Monica Sandman. That apparent, was pretty no. cruel, brother. Did I got to say- take this thing to go pee real quick. Well, you said it, dude. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. But yeah, herpes girl, are we ready to dial? 
I'm going to see if she'll let me give her a Santa Monica Sandman. Let's ask her that. Let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty hot. I'm, I think we're, I'm turned gonna, on by we're it. Right gonna, we're going to talk to her for a second, and then we'll get to we'll, we'll get to the point where you can help her. Yeah. Because I know that you are a self-help guru in many ways. Hello? Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm going to call you Herpes Girl because of lack of... Oh, I don't like that name. I'm kidding. Sorry. I'm kidding. Oh, what would you like us to call you? Phone. Sorry. Sorry. I guess you're oh, there we go. Lily. I'm kidding. Uh, of course. There we Lily, go. Lily... Is on the phone, guys. You might remember her as the famous herpes girl. Famous. She is. Oh my god, there's a big dick on there. Yeah, I bet, dude. Did you oh, yeah. um, that last night? Yeah, well, like, uh, that's, that's Dino's. Lily, we have someone here that wants to talk to you in a second, <laughs> and we also just wanted to say that we are big, uh, you know, advocates of you, and you were. I hope that we can call you and check in on you and and the sores and stuff uh, <laughs> from time to time. So, any flare up yeah. since this? Any flare up since the pod? Uh, well, actually. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I was just breaking out. Well, you just... Um, wait, oh. wait uh, your signal or your vagina? <laughs> can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, we can we hear can. you great. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was just breaking out. Actually, I, do, I did have an outbreak because I have COVID right now. Oh, so you had oh. COVID and a herpes oh, outbreak? Oh, that's cruel. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it's such a bummer. Yeah. Random question. I evacuated. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Oh, you! Oh, you also. There was the uh, the whole uh, the New Orleans. You're in New Orleans, right? New Orleans. Yeah. And there was the storm. So I evacuated to Mississippi. Would you say that the and storm is what course, brought on the uh, the outbreak? Oh well, no! I think it's the stress from having COVID. Oh, it's oh like the stress from having COVID. Gotcha, gotcha. This is random, but Danny has a question about some yeah. something that he wanted to ask you. Yeah, Lily. So. Sure. You, I mean, I, I know I have a girlfriend and you have the herpes, but if we were to date at some point, what, uh, um, Aiden, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Our is guest gonna... is having, a, if, but if we, if you and I were to just hypothetically be on the beaches of New Orleans, did I say it right? Yeah. I, I know she, she, she takes issue with me mispronouncing She that. doesn't like New Orleans. And yeah. if we drank a bunch of, what's a stereotypical drink they drink down there? I would say it's, it's the, bo- what is it? Daiquiri? Oh, if, like a daiquiri. There we go. If we were loaded up on daiquiris, we got some crawfish gumbo. We went to a Saints game, and we threw some beads at a girl, and she showed her titties. After that beautiful day, we went to the beach, and we made love. Uh-huh. First of all, are you on board so far? Uh, um, I don't think I would. Uh, I don't know if I'd do that with you, Danny. Uh, th- that's, she's, she's being difficult. She would. Why would you not do that with Danny? I thought you were into him. What happened since the I, last time? Well, uh, maybe both of you guys, if I can have both of you guys. Okay, both of us, sure. There we I'm go. in the story, too. There we go. There we go. So me and Leo take you to a Saints game. We get some titty on mm-hmm. whatever the street is, bourbon. We, we both put our hands on your thigh at the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And at first, we decide, like, hey, my pussy. And we almost fight over it, but then we're like, hey, oh, like, hey wait, wait. Let, let's, let's share the spoils. No, you there can definitely f- fight over it. Okay. Oh, okay, we'll fight over. So she baby. wants to play. She wants to see a demonstration of manhood. That's fine. But then she wants both of us to be winners in the end. Yes. And then we decide, hey, there are there are three holes, um, and two penises. Yeah, and if you want to count ears and nostrils, there might even be Maybe more. more. And, so plenty we, for both of us. We take her out to the beach. Uh, Leo and I, we both ejaculate. Mm-hmm. This is what I want to get to, Lily. If I, right after I came, were to get a handful of that Louisiana sand and throw it in your face. What would you say or do? Um, <laughs> why would you do that? It, well, it's, it's just it's a kink. It's like a kink, it's, you know. It's it has a name. Yeah, it's see, it's something I'm working on. It's called the Santa Monica what? Sandman, and it was actually invented by a good friend <laughs> of ours. <laughs> He's a really good guy. guy. He loves his cigar. Cigar guy. You you might know him. And the thing is, it just to me, it's just like getting in touch with like land, sea, and air. Right, it's it's sea sand. That's sea and land, we're and then all and you throw, you throw in the air. Yeah, yeah, we're all stardust. It's just throwing a little stardust in your eyes, baby. That's all it is. So, how would you feel? About I, I would it? probably throw it back. I would. Oh, right, that's throw fine. It back in my eyes. You would throw it back as well, but that well, that's exactly what we what we. Uh, that's a, just a reverse yeah. Santa Monica Sandman. That's not a problem. Yeah, <laughs> that would be great. So we could have a little sand fight after everybody came. It wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, the one time I ever. Through 
fan in a kid's eyes was in L.A. as a child, and then he his big brother threw it back in my eyes. So, so. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, my God. So, so you could be, be into it. it. It's sort of like when a stepdad abuses somebody when they're a child. They, yeah, grow, they grow up, up to like abusive issues. behavior. Yep. It's, you get sand thrown in your eyes in Santa Monica at age 8. You're going to be getting it done again in Louisiana at it age 20-whatever. Absolutely, and and God bless that day you and, know, for happening. And then, uh, just to continue the hypothetical, Lily, mm. we find the nearest old-school boardwalk pier, mm -hmm. and we head toward the midway. I get you a big stick of cotton candy. I take you to one of those coin-op-operated uh, binocular sets, the metal ones. Mm -hmm. And you're looking, I say, oh, uh, Lily, there's an island out there with, with uh, sea lions. Mm -hmm. And is that is that an orca? And then while you're looking, I just come up from behind and shove you into the sea. As as a First of all, as, as an aphrodisiac, as, as a maybe a flirting type thing. But obviously, there's a little bit of a fall involved. How yeah. do you feel about that? I'm such a good swimmer. No worries. So it would oh be perfect. Wow. This See, is... she's our dream. And by the way, she's beautiful, Aiden. She has herpes, but she is beautiful. Um, so this is, we're going to have Aiden take yeah. the reins here, but I just want to say, Lily, what we just built together, me, you and Leandro. Oh my God. And also we got to give Cigar Guy credit for coining yeah, because that because he was the one that first did the Santa Monica Sandman. <laughs> we, I got to say that is sounds, he there right now? Yeah, yeah, he, he is. is. Yes. He, he's been on a real tear. He's been double teaming fans all over oh the Western God, coast. He is. And I just want to say, Lily, that, that it sounds beautiful, but we have a man on the phone right now whose name is Aiden, who has an affliction that most would rank as much more severe than yours, and he is going to give you some advice to help cope. Okay, and then I have some questions for you guys. No problem. But not just cope. Okay. Not just cope, but to flourish. Oh. Okay. Oh. So, Aiden, take it away. Hi. How are you? <laughs> hey, Aiden. <laughs> hey. So, okay, so they told me that you got herpes and then you felt bad about it. And I was just on here and I'm like, you know, I'm like, I, you know, I'm, I'm a comedian and I'm openly HIV positive. And so I've been HIV positive for many years. And so they thought it would be nice for me to call you. Yeah. And let you know, and, and I and I and I, you know, and I'm I, I, I'm gay. If can't tell, <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And so I have a lot of awesome. girlfriends. Yeah. Girl, so many people have herpes. They're just yeah. not openly talking about it. So yeah. don't right. feel bad alone. Don't yeah. feel isolated. Yeah. You're totally okay. Mm -hmm. And yay! Good luck with the Sandman Aww. thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a new passion of hers. <laughs> that's because he's a comedian, dude. This guy's. Oh well, my yeah, God. and now you can ask them whatever you want because that's <laughs> yes. what you really want to do. You're like, who is this guy? <laughs> no, he's great. You got to buy his book, Art of Being Yay. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah, yeah it's great. And it's yeah. uh, I wrote a book. Okay. Dino's already three chapters in. Dino does love the book. Um, he's a big fan of it, and you'd be surprised because you know Dino. So <laughs> you um, know, you know a part of his anatomy. You know a part. Of, yeah, yeah, you do. He, she, he spread. Yeah, he did. Oh, Actually, with the, with the old can opener. <laughs> yeah, that's right, baby. It'll make it easier uh, next time. Yeah, you know that's funny. You see this man, you think he's you know he's he's closed off, but he did at some point spread his asshole for a woman right here in this podcast. Yeah, room. is that real? Oh yeah, yeah it actually is. Swear, ask her. Did you really you do that? Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. It was me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, yes. I wouldn't spread my asshole for anybody here. Thank you. Thank so, you. I, I I mean, no, 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 no offense. Right, you guys right, are very right. attractive, but you oh, know. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. you know. Yeah, if and yeah. if there was one person you had to spread for, who would it be? I'd probably pick Dino just because it would yeah. make him the most uncomfortable. Yes. If I had to do one, because like I don't like spreading my asshole unless you're like into it, right? Right. So if I had to pick somebody who wasn't into it, I'd mm. go for the most uncomfortable guy. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, yeah. And I think it would teach him a lot about life. Sometimes. Yeah, what what you give, you yeah. get back, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Dino, I think I know he'd write a poem about it. Oh, his poem. It, listen, if you saw the collection of poems, you'd be shocked. But this one would be yeah. his masterpiece. What's that? Uh, I think he, Leo, you said you found another poem in his diary. Oh, I did. And it was about uh, the fantasy of the man's uh, immaculate asshole. Yeah, it, it was titled Brown Eye. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Which, again, sometimes cliche, like roses are red, mm. the brown eye. Mm. And uh, how'd it go again, Leo? Oh, it was, uh, it's funny because it was almost the same format as the first one. It was roses are red, violets are blue. Mm. That asshole is gaped. I can't wait to be raped. 
He changed up the rhyme scheme on that one at least, mm-hmm. though. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that, that was profound. That was it was incredibly shocking to see that that was one of his uh, his poems. I just realized we're still on the phone with Arvita. Oh yeah. Oh, how, how are you doing over there, Lily? She, Hi. Good? she likes it. She likes it. I do think with the Santa I'm Monica like, thing. Shocked. Yeah, yeah. You have to like get consent before you do that. Of course. It's I would... like it's like you have to like talk to her before. You're like, of okay, course. we're gonna do the Santa Monica sand. Right. Yeah. Is that okay Is with that you? Okay with you. Just, it's like a consensual. <laughs> it's, 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 you can't, you can't, can't just stick it up the yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. It, would like, be, oh, God, here's, it definitely can't be Venice sand. Here's my that's thing, way more Aiden, toxic. I, I used to be a real donkey punch kind of guy. Right. And to me, the Santa Monica Sandman is like a nicotine patch. It's right. weaning me off the donkey punch. Off the donkey punch. So you punch. gotta give me that. You know what the least. donkey punch is? Oh well, yeah, wait. That's like you punch her as she comes. As yeah, you yeah come. as you come. It's it's more you, selfish. You gotta hit her on the mid back region. But why would no, you, you hit her in the head? Everything. Oh, the head. The head. What are you doing? The head. The head, and it tenses everything up. Yeah, but why? Oh, so she, so it's tight. Right. Yeah. It feels oh, that's, it feels that's so really. Much can't you just ask her to tighten? No, it doesn't have the same. Not a lot of a physiological effect. Not every girl's into the Kegel stuff. You know what I mean? They're not. Yeah, they're not putting in the work. You know what I mean? You got to do it yourself. Oh. Lily, what if I, after you yeah. swam back to shore, oh my God. probably <laughs> panting, what if I were to take you beneath the pier where all the barnacles were and the, the dispensed of heroin needles and fishing hooks, and oh. I donkey punched you? I wouldn't like that. Okay, that okay. one, See, that's, that's too far. But that's, that's how we I'm, know. That's yeah. why I'm trying to wean myself off of that behavior. Sand. It's a, sand. Yeah. Uh, okay, I have a few questions. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure. ready? What's yeah. up, Lily? Yeah, yeah. Hey, why'd you take my episode down? Okay, so this is what happened with the episode. Nothing against the quality of the episode. People loved it. We posted it on my main channel to get a wider audience. And mm-hmm. then we tried to repost it on the Leo and Danny Show podcast channel again afterwards. Mm-hmm. And like the it just wasn't getting any views because everybody had already seen it. And people were pissed that it was up because they thought we were posting that in place of a new episode. Right. So, I mean, we should probably repost it. Like maybe we'll repost it on no, Friday no, or something. You don't have to. I love it. It was, it was just. It was also because it's the a classic scheme. No, no, we it couldn't get the, the podcast okay. in the correct order. Sure, sure, sure. Are you kidding me? That's one of our best episodes of all time, Lily. You got to know that. It's okay. No, we stop it. We, we can tell you her. Post it. We can tell you. Did hurt. she fly in for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a big oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Are you She's a comedian? Great. Who are you? She should be. She's sweaty I and want, beautiful. Okay, I, Danny. I have a proposition. I will dress up in a little sexy chauffeur uniform mm. and drive you guys around in my black that's Mercedes. right she, she's willing to be, to be our driver herpes girl is the driver that's our our driver yeah. officially okay it's pretty solid but will you take a donkey punch <laughs> yeah, will you or yeah. will you not yeah, though that's the see question. aiden's coming around he's coming, around. He's coming, he likes he's coming around back yeah. to our side uh, dude because we're not we are we are freedom of speech baby yeah um herpes girl i would love that as long as we thoroughly disinfect the seat after you're done driving all right Unfortunately, no, I would I would be wearing a mask in the vehicle too the entire time that we're hanging out. We, herpes sorry. might be airborne. Yeah, because I have COVID. No, I'm gonna, I, no, I would herpes. also be just I would actually make everyone in the crew wear a condom for no reason with the, over their limb penises and their ball sacks because herpes you and can get. And I would even wear one of those anti rape condoms at, at all times around you guys. Yeah, yeah. There we go. The anti rape. It's, it's of course Dino is the one who they'd be intended for. Yes. Do you know? Okay, so my next thing is, um, where, is King Croc okay? I don't know. No one knows. Really. He, I think he's okay. He just wanted to take some time from filming. He, um, okay, yeah, he's a uh, King Croc is an angel, and his presence was a was a blessing. I yeah, feel totally fine using religious language about King Croc because mm-hmm. okay, King Croc, Aiden was a nerdy. African American man mm-hmm. with the same sense of humor as us, yeah. a giant penis, and the inability to experience fear, which yeah. is huge for our main channel shoots because we do a lot of pranks and a lot of stuff that um, it kicks up social anxiety in a lot of people. The most natural performer you'll ever meet. The dude. most unbelievable, hilarious person ever. He did a bit. You're a guy who uh, your PC stuff. You're not afraid to brush up against that line and offend certain people. He did a bit where he went around a park with a clipboard and a shirt that said, I can't breathe. Again, he's an African-American gentleman. And he was asking women if they would like to sign up or sign a petition rather about George Floyd's killing. And then after he got a couple questions in about George Floyd, he would just start hitting on them. Yeah, and ask for their number. There, there was one part where he was like, you know who George Floyd is? You care about black lives? 
all right, can I get your number tonight? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Well, what did they do? They they were disgusted that universally he was, disgusted that he was okay. using George Floyd yeah. as a tool to pick up on them. Uh, but it was it was it, it was fuck. it was fucking hilarious. But we filmed I can't, it. And it was great. I can't yeah. do it justice. It was his bit. Yeah. But he um came into our lives for a brief period of time, and then he just I think the attention, mm-hmm. um, just being yeah. in the public eye. I mean, I'm not we're I'm not saying that we're su- fucking superstars, no, but it. more attention than he was used to was a stressful experience so he retreated yeah oh. that's why i figured you guys um took the podcast down because he was embarrassed he thought that he was gonna get me too because of all the positions that oh no, put him in. no nothing that had, that had nothing to do nothing with it. to do with yeah it. We, we had consent. Uh, he, he, he said that okay. when he has sex with a girl, he must do a minimum of 26 sexual positions, which, oh. of course, is an absurd claim and so one of the reasons we loved him. We made him do... He couldn't get past five. We made him yeah. demonstrate. <laughs> we made him demonstrate on Lily on this carpet. Not yeah. not real sex, yeah, but you know close. What, Danny, you know what, Danny? I think I deserve an apology for that because that was really degrading. You, would say, you agreed to it. I know, but I... Yeah, and then I went in all the comments. I wasn't mad about it. And then I went in all the comments on TikTok and YouTube. And it, you just happened to get canceled right after that. And yeah. everyone was like, wow, that that was so degrading for you. Like, I okay. was well, well, it. Well, Lily, was, I also he, got called a rapist, a pedophile, and a murderer by all of those cancelers, too. So what they were saying, it was uh, hyperbole oftentimes. But uh, how did okay, you but, feel about it, though, Lily? What did you think? I mean, besides, screw the comments. These people were How not in the room. Yeah, they were not in the room. I mean, okay, you know. I felt afterwards, I was like, one of my friends were like, wow, that looked really wrong. Like, you were in a room full of six men. Like, it looks like you were in a really vulnerable position. I was like, oh, shit, I did look, that did look bad for me, you know? Okay, well. And then, and then, and then um, I realized, I was like, what ha- what's happening right now is Danny this is Danny's ultimate fantasy. He likes to watch people have sex. That's not necessarily true. <laughs> but he doesn't what mind we, it. What we filmed last night, though, is not going to uh, combat those claims, though. Danny, <laughs> uh-huh. yes, you do. I know you like to watch people have sex. He does like to watch sex, people have sex. That ultimate fantasy. Well, Lily, do you Boy, watch porn? You watch well, porn? Lily, he also does find you attractive. That is another part Danny, of it. Danny, you're the... cuckold. It's okay. It's, I'm a cuck queen, okay? Mm-hmm. There oh. we go. So we're both on this wavelength. But so do you want them to take it down? Oh, it's, it's already down. Afterwards. Oh. Mm. But so wait, so what I are your... Like, I just got... Hmm? You have herpes. Continue. Uh, just... Sorry, that was I said up. that. Fuck! That was I'm so video. sorry! Wait, wait. I don't know what happened. Wait. I don't know what happened. Lily, Lily, I want to hear you... what happened. Lily, I want to hear you out. So, course, so what do you say? So some friend said this was an unsafe environment, which is not true. When you came here to be on the podcast, it's that was perform- your intention. It's a performance from top to bottom. You know, I mean... And you agree to it, Lily, too. And it's at some point, people, if, if they're asked to do something that makes them uncomfortable, they do have free will. We're getting to a point nowadays okay. where everybody wants to be the victim and they want to blame everything on somebody else. They want the government, the okay. president, to take care of them. They, if they okay. get... What, what are we saying, Lily? Next time that there's someone having sex, I want to be the one directing them and that's, watching them. We'll that's give a you compromise. Free rent. I've, in fact, that's a compromise. Maybe next year's in Lenny porn, we have Herpes Girl direct it. Sure, absolutely. You know what, Lily? I will wear a donkey tail and uh, a pair of donkey ears, and I will have somebody demonstrate. Maybe even Aiden over here will demonstrate 26 positions on me, okay? No, thank you. No, I think <laughs> I think Damn I should it. watch. I think I, think I should. Uh, maybe I should watch you and Mia have sex. I think that was the goal. All yeah, she wanted to watch you. <laughs> Fine, if you, you want to watch him and Mia, sure. Okay, I'm sure he'd be he could would be willing to do that. I'll talk to Mia and we can work something out. I don't want you to have felt uncomfortable because King Croc demonstrated. He didn't even demonstrate that many. I think good. he was five or he, six. He, he he didn't even do doggies. He was bereft of positions after about five. It when was, he, it was when a he made you show of when he made force. you raise one leg as position and then raise the just the opposite <laughs> leg. As the second position, yeah. I was like, okay, we're, we're not going to get to 25. Good. Yeah, yeah. I was so stiff. It was so funny. Yeah, yeah, it was. I was like, a... yeah. Okay, All right. Then uh, my final thought. Yes. Um, do you guys want to hear my opinions on everybody? Opinions on everybody. Would love to. Why not? I'm a really good judge of character. Okay. This isn't going to be I'm good not going to hurt anyone's feelings. Okay. All right. Okay, ready? Yes. Uh, Danny, you're a sociopath. There we go. And, uh, you have unlimited money and the law behind you. I wish that was true. 
Okay. Okay. My my dad why... my dad drives used cars and lives in a three bedroom house in a rural no. Orangevale. My dad has unlimited money. Nobody. No. Danny was broke as fuck two years ago when I met him. Why? If I had three unlimited money, ago, why would why would I have worked restaurant jobs? Why would I have been miserable being a busboy if I had unlimited money? Danny, what you have the power of the law behind you, and that's why you have okay, no so you the think, power of the law. You think my dad can rewrite the law and then choose if I go to court, my dad can take the case and make it rigged in my uh, favor? He did help you with Cloud Kid Kobe. He did help me yeah. get my money back from the guy who took my TikTok <laughs> skateboard money. He did. He did. Uh, that's that. Those are two. Okay, the sociopath thing, maybe. Sure. But uh, the the statements about me having unlimited money and the law on my side is absurd and slanderous. The these are, and I don't like it. These are dark web Danny Mullen rumors. All right. What, what My about dad works for the okay. government. What Nobody can have unlimited money if they work for the government unless they are a presidential candidate we and all... they're cashing checks from Goldman. There it is. We want to know what you think about this, Dino this anyway. These are just my opinions. All right, Dino. I, uh... I forgot. It's the era okay. where everybody's opinion is fact. All right. Let's hear. Let's hear Dino. Let's hear Leo. All right. Leo, mm -hmm. I like you. Thank but you. God damn it. You're a yes man. I'm a yes man. That's right. Okay. You're my bitch is what she's saying. Uh, sure. <laughs> All yeah. Right. All right. Thank you. And if you were a character in The Wizard of Oz, you would be the Cowardly Lion. I'd and I wish for you. That was insulting. I, I did play the Cowardly Lion. That was, in that was insulting. But yeah. So I'd be, <laughs> I'd be the Cowardly Lion. Well, he gets yeah, courage. Who gets courage I at wish. the end, though, huh? The lion. Huh? Mm. Well, listen. Uh, the lion... <laughs> Okay. He might have not had courage, but he didn't have herpes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But thank you. All right. I appreciate your opinion. Okay. Next, oh, wait, 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 wait. You, that, that was bullshit. You had some positive stuff. Mine was just across the board negative. I know it was negative. What the but fuck? I'm, she, I'm really excited she, for cigar guys. Do now. you think I'm Donald Trump? Like yeah, I'm a does. sociopath with yes. unlimited money and the power of the law behind me? You I'm not Donald Epstein. Trump. What the hell? Is he Epstein? Well, Danny, what? 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 Is What's interesting about you is that you keep your sanity and everybody else goes crazy around you. So No, he's you lost his mind a couple of times. He just he's lost his mind, but it's in private. Yeah. You can't see it, you can't tell. Yeah. I can look at his eyes and tell when he's had a bad night though. The that only, happens often. The only evidence is the blackness around Austin's eyes. <laughs> It's the only yes. evidence of when I lose my mind. It's and it's, it's, it's quickly Aww. concealed with cover-up. Yes. He, be, he absolutely pulverizes oh, Austin sometimes. <laughs> it's, it's only bad. Austin. It's bad. It, even yeah. if, like, Nico or Ian fucks up, just Austin gets the wrath. Bad. Because he's here more often. Um, okay, Austin and Dino. They are the type that if you are wandering through the woods lost, they would just come up, they would suddenly appear behind a tree, and you'd be scared because they would take you back to their home, like tie you up, experiment on you. Oh my you God. know, it'd be those like those those scary. The hills have eyes. Like, you think like, you think Dino and Austin have a like a dungeon where they torture women that they yes. find in the she, forest? Wait, is that what she said? She just yeah. basically described Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. She just, just she said uh, it, this one is like the most off base of all. She said if I mean except for they live in a rural place is the only thing relevant. She mm. said that if somebody was wandering through the woods, you guys would lure them back to your house and like cook them and shit. A woman, a woman. Like too. like we're the guys from like one man one hammer or something hiding. Hills have eyes. Hills have eyes. Is she actually <laughs> mentioned one man one hammer? She mentioned it, hills like have these, eyes. It's a it's, video. Of, it's like a two girls one cup video of uh, some guys who like hide in the middle of like this. Uh, this walking trail through the woods until they find a guy and they beat him up with a hammer and kill him. Is that That's is that a snuff film? What is that? Yeah, it's a snuff it's film. Is is it is it uh, a rumored snuff film? Is it fake? No, it's real. It's like Two Girls One Cup. It's like one of those videos. Yeah, but Two Girls One Cup, nobody dies. Yeah, but it's on the same websites. Those shock graphic websites. I would fuck two guys with a hammer up. It's like the jar video. It's in the same. It's a really fucked up video. It traumatized me in middle school. Yeah, you probably yeah, should probably have skipped would. that one. Cigar. I only watched like maybe five seconds of it. Okay. And then stopped. I can't watch those. Kind I of see things. them as the guys that would come out and be like, "Hey, do you know how to get back home?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 dude, yeah. that's true. They and, would be the guys. And that would then uh, a beefcake with a cowboy hat would be like, "Yeah." But first, you got to come help me with some sheep. And, and then, then Dino's on his knees. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so, ah! just, 
Yeah, I'm so sorry. Aiden knows where I'm going. Yep. Yeah, it is, maybe it is a perk, you though. Gay the fact that Derek and I look kind of young. I can every once in a while just adopt the I'm an innocent young person who just doesn't know what they're doing and then get out of things. Like I've been pulled over like four times in the past year, haven't got a ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it does look really innocent. His uh, his throat was a little sore after the encounters, but uh, it was oh worth God. it. Oh God. Okay. So who next? Who next? We got cigar guy here, Lily. Lily, cigar guy. Hey, cigar guy. How are you? Good. Hold on. I can't hear you. Let me put headphones on. Yeah, it doesn't stretch okay. that far. Oh, okay. You yeah. gotta get over there. Get to get in Aiden's What lap. up? How you doing? Hey, buddy. Are you gonna go to the doctor? Uh, for what? <laughs> for your, your, your problems. I've huh. been to the doctors for the, for my pooping issues, and I um, okay, have solved have? those issues, okay. yes. That makes me feel better. Good. How about you? Are you okay, still pooping well, yourself? Am I still pooping myself? Yeah. Did I tell you that? You told me that on multiple occasions. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it goes both ways, Lily. That. Wait, what? <laughs> it goes both <laughs> ways. You can't that. just tee off on all of us and expect to not get your dirty yeah. laundry no, out. You got herpes and you shit yourself. <laughs> I don't remember telling you that. Well, it's okay. out now. It's out. Okay, well, yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about Cigar Guy. I can't really figure him out that well. He's pretty mysterious. I like that, though. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks. I appreciate it. I can't get a good read on him because I don't know you that well either, but I feel like the other people around are, are easier to read. Cool. Well, um, yeah. right on. Well, and you're, hope, uh, you're so good at your uh, crystal ball work, Lily. We've got two murderers behind the control board over there. <laughs> And uh, my dad is like fucking Unlimited Jeff Bezos. Money, well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you do have so much money, dude. He's been funding this channel, uh, dude. That's why our studio is uh, so immaculate and, <laughs> and so high budget. It's actually not bad. As far as comedian podcasts go, this is not bad, huh, Aiden? What do you think, Aiden? I like it. Uh, Aiden Thank likes you. it. Nice. Yeah. And uh, I just want to say to you, Lily, in conclusion, we're about to wrap up the podcast that uh, that hurt what you said about me. And <laughs> you're going to find yourself very soon on a beach in New Orleans. <laughs> With uh, eyes full of sand. <laughs> oh hey, man. It'll be fun. Okay. All right. There we go. Lily, uh, it was great checking in with you. We'll check in with you again sometime. Um, Thank you. Know, you. How about she has to know. call us every time she has a flare-up? If you call oh, us during know. flare-ups, that would be unbelievable. <laughs> would you? We need a graphic. We need a graphic of her going like, ah, yeah. there's fire. Uh, here she is, herpes girl, <laughs> having a flare-up. Ding, 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 ding. Hello, Lily. How are you? We need we need to get a big red phone installed in her house that has bumps on it. <laughs> yeah. Just like how uh, Biden talks to Putin. Yes. Or how be, uh, like Gorbachev a, used to talk to Kennedy like or whatever. In the, old Batman, in the old Batman series, he had that phone. Khrushchev, that would, yeah, whatever. Yeah, he would have the phone whenever there was some kind of crime happening that yeah. would ring. It'll be the herpes phone. Yeah. We'll have it right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ding, ding, ding. And, All right. I like that. Yeah, you know, it's a great idea. Okay, well, Lily, uh, you take care and uh, goodbye. Have a good Bye, one, Lily. Lily. Bye. Bye, Lily. Bye. And uh, I think that was a great Ooh. podcast. I want to. I want to thank Aiden for coming yes. in here. Thank you for having plug, me. Plug your uh, your book and whatever else you want to plug. Yeah. So you know, I do give advice and I do like mm. coach people and, mm. and I encourage happiness and stuff. Mm. But I do it in a way where I talk yeah. o very openly about yeah. everything that's ever happened. Which obviously yeah. you're a man who's been at you know you've been at the bottom. No mm. pun intended. Ha, ha, ha. But you've risen. Talk to today the top. with Dino. I'm so yeah! sorry. I just, Dino's I, oh, gay. Dino's, Dino's gay. gay. I really okay. love uh, chapter. I'm eight. just joking. <laughs> I, I really love chapter eight in your book. When you hear the harmonica, run. It's <laughs> a great one, and I think it's great oh advice. God. Thank you. No, but uh, check it out. And also, he's he's he probably will be coming to your city at some point. He will be on Grinder, but he also will be performing stand up. Yep. So check him out. He's really yep. funny. Yep. And uh, dude, thank you, you. fuck it. This is a killer episode. Yeah. This was fun. Thank yeah. you guys. It was killer fun. episode. And uh, thank you. Emotional. It was on up. It was a roller coaster ride. Yeah, it was. All right. Thank you guys. All this right. Leon Denshaw. Thank you.